Hello and welcome to episode 289 of 10 o'clock in which we're all going to die apparently. <laughs> so I am MBR Laws, this is Zeno Gellion and we have our guest, Scarlet Kingdom. Is that right? That's correct. Hello. I only just got back. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Zeno, take it away. Where did you go? The shop. <laughs> oh shit, that was clearly a three day journey and I'm surprised you survived. Um, yeah, it was perilous. So for, for everyone else, Scarlet is our Patreon guest of the month. Oh cool. So, <laughs> Lars was like, I don't know who this person is. I don't know what's going on. It's all a mystery to me. Oh, anything. I just turn up and we record something, <laughs> apparently. So if I die in pain. Loz and I are both ill. I think Loz is worse than me. But um, and we're going to go see Detective Pikachu tomorrow. My lungs won't Birds. stop crackling. Yeah. So if you want the opportunity to be a Patreon guest on 10 o'clock, there's a link in the description below. There's also an end slate card linking to my Patreon where you can do the thing and the stuff and make me happy and various other content creators happy because they'll the, your money will go straight to them. And that means I don't have to make videos because I'm a lazy bastard. Isn't that right, Loz? <laughs> Loz is well, freeing. So, yeah, if you want an opportunity, you know, consider becoming a patron. All right, so moving on. The first thing... I actually put these in. I think I put these in. I hope I put these in. Right. First thing we do every week. Yes, I did put these in. Emblems. So, Scarlet, please scroll up and you'll find the two emblems. Pretty sure as a experienced veteran of 10 o'clock, you know what to do. <laughs> uh, it's pick my favorite, right? Yep. <laughs> Either Loz's um... webcam has frozen... Or he's, he just seems very surprised. He's not there anymore. Oz? Hello? Are you dead? Anyway, pick your favourite emblem. Ooh. Um, that's a hard choice on the spot. I, can, I think I'm leaning towards the one getting struck by lightning. Really? The first one. I quite, I kind of like that. It's a bit... It's. It's uh, it's. I like the novelty of it. I like silly things, so I prefer. I kind of prefer that over like sleek design in a weird kind of way. See, honestly, <clears throat> you can hear my throat going. Honestly, I mm. thought you were gonna go for the sleek design one because, like, I re I, like when Loz sent that to me, I was just like, "Holy beans, that looks awesome!" Oh, the sl it looks gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great, but when I if I have to choose between something that's really smart and well done or something that just makes me giggle it tends to be the one that makes me giggle yep fair enough <laughs> so that's my emblem this week but if you want a chance to win 150 platinum while loz is actually still trying to reconnect you can go in the <laughs> description below and enter say so find the google form where you'll see last week's emblems enter your in-game name choose your platform of choice uh, select which emblem you like the most. It doesn't matter which one wins because everyone has one chance of actually winning and you can enter as many times as you like because you're only going to get one chance of winning. And yeah, make sure you get your in-game name right though. We have had a number of instances where people have turned around and given us names that don't exist within Warframe and as a result, they can't win. So it goes to someone else. So make sure you get your in-game name right. Buzz, are you there yet? He <laughs> still says he's connecting. Oh, dear. Hooray for technology. Let's move to another region. Okay. US oh. Central, there we go. <laughs> hey, there he is. You, what happened? I don't know, you just, all of a sudden, you just like freeze frame, and I'm like, uh, well, actually, to be fair, what happened was I won the emblem thing, and oh. I gave the explanation of how to win platinum. Oh. Very useful. Yes, I use the time wisely. We never have technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, uh, it says, Captain, my computer broke. And my, and my, and my organs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. Right. Next, Dojo Dusting. I did a stupid. I did two stupids. 
They're stupid. I forgot to update the emblems from last week. So you need to go back and actually make sure that you vote. Please go into the description. If you voted last week, just double check. Vote again just to make sure that you have a chance of winning the plat. Any plat that is actually still in the process of being processed by DE, I have no idea what's going on. I know they're really busy with Tenocon and everything. I can just assure you that at some point in time, you will get your platinum. I just can't guarantee when because they're so busy. Used to be I would only hand out the, the platinum names to DE once every three months or so but because we're actually announcing who the winners are i have to put the i have to send them to them more regularly it gets a lot more tricky blah 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 you get the idea uh next stupid monumental screw up xeno did um Lars, have you seen the latest arbiters no so <laughs> one blithering idiot decided, hey, let's take the platinum codes that D gave him for his blithering, blithering idiot birthday and just sneakily hide them in his blith blithering idiot video. Right. But to make it fair, the blithering idiot decided to blithering idiotly take out a character from each code giving more people more chances to get a code. Okay. The blithering idiot didn't realize that DE had implemented an anti-spam bot on their promo codes. So... The people trying to guess got um, soft-locked for 10 to 15 minutes from trying to enter a code. Well, that's good. Huh? <laughs> that's good, then. Kind of. I mean, the big thing was, and I, as soon as I found this out, I was on to, to D. And D. Connor, bless him, he is amazing. He actually managed to confirm with me the actual results of this. Luckily, no one actually had their accounts locked, right? Ooh. I assume, so if you keep doing it, does it lock your actual Warframe? Account? No. It just stops you from being able to enter codes, right? right so that was. That now, so the problem was that all I was being told was I'm locked out of Warframe, right? And I'm like, holy fuck, is this actually like banning people from the game? So I had to confirm with D. And no, it was, no, it was just locking them out from being able to submit uh, more codes, right? So Where have uh, you hidden these codes? I'm just having, oh, I, oh, I thought I saw them. Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. 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 Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so that, that that's that's what I did. So blithering idiot here, you're not going to do that again. No. Or, or you might just for the lols, right? I was honestly expecting the idiot to be. I censored the wrong character, and no, no one has any chance of actually guessing what the right one was. No, <laughs> no. At least I didn't go that far. But um, within, I think it was like after the first 24 hours, there's still plenty of. Co well, I say there's still plenty of closes. There was both of the PS4 codes were still there, and one of the other three platforms was there as well. So, okay. but I'm not doing that again. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's. Oh, uh, last point. So, in theory, the Jovian Concord, I always thought it was Jovian Accord because that set made sense. Jovian Concord just makes me think it's a Jupiter-based plane. It also, I feel like you're going to say concourse, the yeah. word, as yeah. in like a platform. Yeah. Just yes, the Jovian platform. That would make okay. sense as well. Why is that it a plane? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. we just, we just. Why is it Concord? It doesn't make sense. Maybe a concourse. It's like Concord is a collection of concourses. I don't. Anyway. That is supposed to be dropping, in theory, as early as Wednesday the 15th, but it's mostly under the guise of soon TM. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. However, the word Concord is Old French. could also mean harmony, agreement, or treaty. Harmony, agreement, or treaty. 
Well, the French got it wrong. So, Clues in the name. Huh? Clues in the name for that one. Right. Yep. right no. Anyway, so why is it the Jupiter Treaty? Yeah, exactly. It's like the Jupiter Agreement. I don't know. What was we'll, the see, agreement? we'll have to see, won't we, when it comes out. Yeah. We agreed to not steal all your French fries. Anyway, we'll call them I, I we'll call them Juvian, so. sorry, Jovian fries. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Right, so if you are in a clan that is fairly dead and you're like, you know what, I want to actually have some fun with people, you know, feel free to message me in Warframe, Discord, or leave a comment in YouTube. And you're welcome to join Frameface, which is Loz and my clan. So, yeah. There we go. So that's that's it for Dojo Dusting. Moving on to the cards. I can never get this order right. It is, it is cards, isn't it? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> cards. Right. So the first card from last week. So, Scarlet, did you actually watch last week or listen to last? It would. It's currently in my watch later list. That's fine. At the moment, That's fine. I didn't get right. a chance. No, it's more a case of like you know, how much do we have to go over this stuff? So, the first card is: Are you looking forward to Nightwave season two? Right. So obviously, there's been you know the the comments on the dev stream about Nightwave season two. There have been people talking about things that need to be changed. And yesterday, I think. There was a dev workshop from DE Bear highlighting basically what was said during the dev stream. And so we got 75 people had responded to this. 5% said that no, they're not looking forward to Nightwave Season 2. 28% are tentative and 66% said yes. Where do you guys stand on it? I'm... I'll admit, as someone that's played probably about six or seven years of WoW, the idea of doing dailies in any video game is revolting to me. <laughs> so I'm, I wasn't the <clears throat> I wasn't the biggest fan of the Nightwave when it initially came out. If they when the, the changes that they've and they've um, hinted towards, or at least I don't know if it's been officially announced, or at least they've loosely described, um, does sound like an improvement. But for me personally, the the idea of just doing daily doing dailies feels more like a job rather than a game. So I'm not really the kind of person that would just be excited to do something like this. That that's fair. That's that's an excellent point, Oz. That's fair. I I do like these more than the equivalent from WoW because normally they come with a bit of. A lore and a bit of a hook there, so I can appreciate that the first one, the wolf, you know, wolf set six, that was the first one. So I, I am mm. a bit looking forward to it, but I want to see how they improve. So you because they have said that they weren't able to improve on the current one because of uh, releasing onto consoles at the same time. I would like to see some improvements. If we see some improvements, uh, the reason why I'm a bit tentative on this is because I'm not sure how well it's going to work with an infested plot or whatever and if it's going to be the same as what we've got now but from i think we said starting actually you know if we've got it now but we infested that i think they need to do more work not less to make this one work so we'll have to see it's interesting you say that because i feel that with the infested they have a purely blank canvas and they can do whatever the heck they want yeah they can but the thing is though you can't it as i think i said this stuff you've got you've got nothing to build on yeah. Or very little to build, especially named things. I mean, you can be like, oh no, the infested are gonna infest somewhere. <laughs> the infested are going to infest. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, look at all these infested. They'd be bad. Go kill them, y'all. It's just. Is, I don't is, know how to get it. is that akin to people die when they're killed? Exactly. <laughs> people do die when they're killed. <laughs> to be fair, I think the Nightwave has probably one of the best framing devices of any daily. I've said. I think the Nor yeah. Nor Nightly is probably the best addition I've ever seen to daily content ever because it's a really good framing device and it's the yeah, voice actor is absolutely incredible. It's just obviously 
I don't like dailies in the most scheme of things. If they're like just challenges that you, most of the challenges I found, the ones that you, ones that you didn't naturally do just by playing the game as you would, are the ones that actually gave the most points <laughs> to actually complete them. At least those are the ones I found anyway, based on how I play the game. Well, we'll be going over more of it with uh, the third topic. You could rearrange mm. the order. Oh, mm. But um, one thing I will point out, and this, this made my loins throth, right? They're introducing, okay. yeah, they're introducing a new Elite Weekly, which is complete a spy mission using your operator. The Warframe <laughs> cannot leave the spawn room. I mean... I want more shit like that! I mean, that is quite... I mean, that's a fun-sounding challenge for the most part. There are a few tile sets where that would be awful. But... What's that? Can I hear the screams of the forums and Reddit from here? Yes, I can. <laughs> right, okay. Let's move on to the second card. Second card. I like the idea, but they're going to hate it. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, I want cheese. I need my cheese. Without my cheese, I'll be sad. Right. <laughs> Oh, you're forcing us to do the focus system. Anyway, so second yep. card. Second card. Does Warframe need achievement-based cosmetics? Excellent. Scarlet, you've played World of Warcraft. Achievement-based cosmetics. You know exactly what it means. Cool. 74 people responded. 2% said no. 13% said that they didn't care. And 83% said yes. The fashion frame is the true end game. Yep. More yeah. of it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I I'm certainly on the yes, Loz. Oh definitely. It it's I don't get it why we haven't got more of it because it's easy content to do. You can literally have things quite grindy, quite hard to do, and it's just a minimal reward that doesn't affect gameplay, so it doesn't need balancing, you just need to put pretty pictures in. Or or you know, <laughs> you could put in a colour picker, you could put in uh, all the different emblems and things. You... Well, the set decorations. It just you know, there's so much cosmetic stuff that could be shoved in on this. That I, honestly, I don't get why we haven't got it. Already. I can only assume that the reason why we don't have reward-based cosmetic, sorry, achievement-based cosmetic, is because of the achievements on consoles. That's the only reason I can ex envision that it exists. It no, is a problem. It, it, it would be different. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't be called the achievement system or anything. You would. You would give it a name that it would be like Teshin's challenge is, and it's all about Teshin wanting to test you against the Tenno of old or whatever. And yeah. that, that's what it'd be. But all of it would just be Teshin offering you a challenge, and then they would go. You'd have like a tree of challenges, and then some challenges would like other challenges and things, and things would upgrade. It would yeah. have nothing. And I agree with you on that because I know that consoles are limited by the amount of trophies and whatever they can give out. But it would have nothing to do with that. Completely different. Right. Graph three. Does magnetic damage need to be made useful? Was this last week? This Joey had the idea of making them pull together. Okay, right. So 74 people responded. 1% said no. I clearly should have voted. 18% <laughs> said that they didn't care. And 79% said yes. Good. Oh, uh, Scarlet, what are your thoughts? I, it's really hard to say because last time they start, they tried tweaking with the damage system. Everyone went into a hissy fit over it, and to be fair, some of it was justified. The problem is, how do you make magnetic useful without making it overpowered compared to what we already have? Because that's we know what people are like in this game. It's not, it needs to be useful. It needs, it needs to be better than what we already have. You mean, you mean better than anything else as well, right? That Pretty much. Be, yeah. All of a sudden, oh, like, if you're going to improve that, it better be the best thing. Ever. Yeah. Why? Well, why would I use, why would I use magnetic? We've got corrosive. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And if you have four corrosive projections, we have viral. Like, I don't see how you can make something better than halving your opponent's health. Uh, you only half it for six seconds, am I correct? Six seconds, but the... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just... Uh, yeah, that's, like, that's per proc. 
So obviously, the, you know, the timer keeps going if you get other procs. Mm. It doesn't. It's not like six seconds. Yeah, I can, I can never. I can never one hundred percent remember how the bloody thing works. Like yeah. no, 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 no. Viral. Sorry, the the half health thing doesn't stack. No, it doesn't mm. stack. But I'm pretty sure you they can't can refresh overlap it. the prop. I, I'm I thought sure. you could overlap the prop. No, I'm pretty sure if. Um, so you you can st okay right so you can stagger the proc sure, but if you had multiple simultaneous procs from like a shotgun, it basically only works as like one proc. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So yeah, I think slash was supposed to be a really good one because that does stack. Mm. And I'm just like, nah, fuck it. Just get me more bullets. Just corrosive projection, <laughs> more bullets, job done. <laughs> but no, I, th I think you're right. I think making it complicated is going to make it. Right. And then the fourth and last card. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this I wanted to bring up during the episode, but I didn't get around to doing it, but I just slotted it in there. Should there be allowances for self-damage weapons? So during the episode, we were talking about, well, people were complaining about you know, self-damage and there should be some weird, crazy mechanics and, you know, blue health, like, fighting games. And it's just like, oh, my God, this is getting way too complicated. And one of the stories that Joey had was, like, you know, you're aiming up a lens, you're firing, and someone walks right in front of you, so the lens... Uh, arrow stops right at your feet um so we we proposed a, a bunch of solutions and things and i you know we're talking about self damage in general 61 people responded so four percent said that you know basically they're in favor of self damage and radiation should be brought back to sabotage um four percent said should have faster healing for self damage so like sort of like a Oh, the blue damage thing. Yeah, it was really fucking... 8% said that there shouldn't be a change at all. 32% said that they just didn't care. And 49% said that projectiles should not collide with enemies. Sorry, with allies, sorry. So if you were to fire a, a, a Zor and the friend got in front of you, that shot will go through the friend so you don't bloody off yourself straight away. Yeah. Hmm. I think um, that we've just had. I think it was just yesterday. Actually, we just had the patch where they buffed the uh, the damage reduction mod on rifles. <laughs> God, it's to ninety nine percent, and that one percent is still enough to one shot you <laughs> on like eighty percent right. of the frames in the game. Still, <laughs> like, thanks. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yep. Quiet did a video on it. Yeah, that's where I found out about it, to be honest, because who knows this mod exists anymore? Quiet knows. Quiet makes sure <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, out of all these, it's kind of hard to say because I, I don't know how long, how many people who watch this uh, are still from like the original Tonkor days, where it was like, the just the king of all weapons because it was the most damage and it had no cons to it whatsoever. Oh no, it had a tiny, so, tiny con. Its damage was capped to what it would do to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't really want to go back to the days where everyone in the squad is just everyone's equipped Tonkors and now you can't kill anything because everything's already exploded over the next continent. <laughs> No, I, I completely appreciate that. I was a heavy Tonkor user, mostly because I just... Oh, I used it as well. <laughs> just don't get me wrong. It's like, well, it was there, so might as well use it. But it just feels like if you're not, if you're not also using it when the most of the squad was, it just feels like you're not really going to be playing that game for that squad. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Cool. Community... No, Patreon questions. The small oh, ones first. Two. So, oh, first one is from Blaze Rios. Do you think when Railjack comes out, everyone in the clan will be able to drive the ship? If they can, I'll put a stop to that. <laughs> what? No, I, th I think, yeah, I think everyone in the clan will be able to drive. I don't think DE would be crazy enough to... 
Oh, oh no, God. you have to remember this is even even if you if you've got a cl- of course everyone's going to be able to drive the ship. I think you're going to have your own ship. It's like it's it's crazy to be thinking that oh yeah, only one or two people drive the ship. Remember, some clans can have like what a thousand people in them. 3, what and they get one ship? Three thousand, three thousand people, and there's one ship, and then get, what? No, no, you're probably going to be able to load your own ship. Is what it's going to be. Is that maybe maybe you have to build them as a clan or something? No, you're not in that actually, because I know they want they want this to basically change the whole way the game is uh, math uh, planned out. So you're going to get your own ship. Um, we so, we have to see what they've got planned because we just don't. You'll get your own ship. You'll get your own ship. I think but, the problem is be... like, will everyone have be on their own ship? No, I think if anything, the host would invite other players to their railjack. Yeah. 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 Well, so. it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. In fact, it pro- if if ooh, there probably will be some sort of cool method, maybe either in the clan or the relay, where you can put your group together, and then you might be able to choose whose ship you go to, like in the maybe. loading bay mm-hmm. thing. Maybe. But it's either that, or it'll be you'll load into some uh, you know one person ship. Because you're going to need to be able to choose. Because let's say, you know, has got a really upgraded ship and he's got a, a new player friend he wants to take through submissions. You, you know, you want to make sure you load into your ship and not their ship. So that there's <laughs> obviously going to be some sort of choice. Either it'll be the host, but that feels a bit in this day and age. For them to add that in feels really basic. That just feels like original Warframe, where it's like, oh, you can't pick the host. It's like, why not? So I, I think a, a, the option to choose would would be good at this point. But uh, you're going to get your own ship. Yeah. Pretty much same sentiment, really. <laughs> yeah. But do you guys care about cosmetics on these ships? Um, it depends, really. Is it is this something that's just going to be exclusive to this one game mode, or will we be able to just mess around in like a free roam kind of thing? Well, okay. So I remember talking to Steve last year, and he was saying that it, he wants it to like become the glue between all the other parts of the game. It's not something that you're just going to go, let's all go in our ships for five minutes and do the ship mission. It wants to be the thing that you go on the ship and go between... When you go between all the different <laughs> sections, you know, you, you get in the ship, we go here, we do a space mission. Oh, let's go down to Venus. And then we go down to Venus. And it's like, oh, we need to go to Jupiter now. And maybe you even go back into the ship from the Venus tile set. So instead of coming back to the set, going into a mission, like in and out, in and out, I, d- I don't think they want it to be something on the star chart where there's just... Do some ship missions now. Are we plonged along in the ship? They want it to be more, more. I mean, even to the point, I wouldn't say you'll get rid of the set, but the set is just going to be like a, a bouncing off point that maybe you'll go back to to craft things with. But that, even then, I don't think that'll be needed. So it's it's going to be a whole lot more than just a thing you go do a bit in. I think the best way I could describe it from what you've explained to me is kind of like you remember how you flew around in the kind of the orbital space in the mass in mass effect 2 where you had the normandy you can fly between different sectors yeah yeah i can yeah. see like a hybrid of that and the current lasat system yeah, exactly yeah the, the problem with the lasat is it's very static isn't it yeah you don't really feel like you're flying a spaceship <laughs> it just feels like a warp tra- a warp travel point pretty much well, I, you, you, could almost, you almost could make an excuse that you're a small child and that's the, the, the Lasset is the attic of your house with a, with a window <laughs> into the universe. And there are magical dream adventures everywhere because it never moves, really. Yeah, pretty much. Can't argue Wait, I've that. just broken the conspiracy. That's the truth behind <laughs> more. So, you're a kid in parents' attic. So the thing that this has made me rethink is... Okay, so... Maybe it would be cool if you would go to a relay with your Lasset, but you'd form a group and then you'd move on to, you know, your a railjack, and then you're leaving the Lasset, and then the amount of antics you can have leaving the relay, actually piloting out, not some kind of cutscene, but you know, you're galaxy questing it up and scraping the name off the side of the ship or you're trying to reverse bay park into the relay but you're sort of like clipping the the door handle or what you know you get the idea <laughs> otherwise if i could just i know they'd never do this because the games that have have allowed you to do this have been exploited to heck because of it like uh i don't know if you've guys played like war Thunder or anything like that but where you could upload your own uh images to your to you on put them on your planes (laughs) there are some very creative people and there are some very uh questionable people (laughs) 
Oh, yeah. it's more thunder. So I just hated the way they bloody put the blood, the tanks, when they put the planes <laughs> in the tanks, they had some sort of bloody point system, which made no sense because when you just have planes, mm. it was fun because I put 10 planes, I got to play 10 planes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, Zrugal. Zrugal says, Do you look at the comments in the redirect video? No, I don't. Should I, Zrugal? Maybe I will. Uh, are there comments in the redirect? Okay, we'll make it happen. That's a good question. Well, yeah, I'll put comments. I don't know. Zrugal, remember, would you relic? Would you would you relic have an Arcwing or a K drive in? Oh, okay. So what, would you relic was, have an Arcwing or K drive? Would you asked? relic? I can't remember. I remember would you relic Zrugal. It's in my notes still, and I have a list of all the ones we did in the past. But uh, would you relic was where we came up with cool like what if things and questions to each other, and then had to like answer them in a warframe. Like, what warframe would you take to a desert island? And yeah, that that was it. Was so, it? So if you want, basically in real life. If you had, could, if you wanted to, one of these things, would you have an Arcwing or a K drive? Which one would you take? In real life, yeah, fucking Arcwing. I know, right? I'd, I'd be like Darwin Award. Here I come. <laughs> well, it lets you breathe in space. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, there's that too. No, actually, to be fair, we don't know if it lets you breathe in space. It lets you life support in space. Yes, but to support my life, I need air. <laughs> fair point. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I'd probably be boring and take K Drive, to be honest. I, I've, I've watched Back to the Future on repeat far too many times to not be wanting a hoverboard more than a jetpack. Ooh. I mean, it would be cool. <laughs> would it, though? Yes. Uh, yes. I then I had to finally skateboard after 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't think I have the body to, to skateboard. I'd probably just, you know fall on my I ass would, and die again. I would. I would earn the body to to, to have a hoverboard. <laughs> I'd be the greatest fitness motivator ever. Rocket powered hoverboard at that. Right. Anyway, moving on. If there was a Nyan Cat frame. What would its abilities be? What would its abilities be? Google. No, 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 no. <laughs> there you go. That, that, that'd be just all four abilities. There we go. Right, next one. Google. <laughs> Do you think Nora will have a sentient backstory like the... Um, you cut off at the end. I'm assuming like the Lotus. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like the Lotus, yeah. I mean, to be honest, actually... I don't know if we ever will get Nora's backstory, but then I can't think at some point we're going to have to get that explained because it's like, who is she? Where she? Who are from? you? And why are you talking to me on my Lisette? <laughs> why are you giving me things? I, I, no, I think she should just be someone that's, I don't know, victim of the world sort of thing, the setting. But I think the thing I really want to begin with is could she please, for the love of God, speak plainly? <laughs> you know, could she just say, Congratulations, you've done the task I have set you? Instead of that, whatever the badass one is, that's like three years long. The once and future badass. Yeah, but that's, that's just the last part of that speech. I I, I, maybe it's because I haven't done enough for the night wave to do it, but I still haven't gotten tired of that yet. But maybe in like a month or two time, I'll be like, yeah, please stop. <laughs> Give it a week. Well, I do hope they add some more lines for the next season. They can keep all the old lines because I do notice that nothing she says is really. That's the thing that gets me is that nothing is specific to the wolf really or the wolf plot line. It's just never like she yeah. says like, "Well done, I'm getting some more convicts." Like, okay, no, never. It's always just. Look at this person who is amazing, everyone. Like, okay, I I put a glyph on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think there's what? a lot of quest potential she can give, but I'd prefer her to be more of the quest giver rather than the central focal point of that quest. Yeah, I, mm, yeah, I, I suppose she is, but I I don't like how. For years and years and years, Warframe just loves throwing mystery boxes at us. Who is this person? What are this person doing? It's just like, how can there still be so many mysterious people in this universe? And why do we keep letting them talk? Just be like, right now, fill in the application form. Oh, fill in the application form, or I'm not talking to you. I need to know your backstory, your intent, 
and when you're going to betray me. <laughs> I don't think anyone's not betrayed us yet. I mean, Tashin betrayed us at one point. The Lotus betrayed us. Alan V just is protect- protecting me. Betraying us. <laughs> yeah, Davo's betrayed us. Maru's betrayed us. There is Davo one. tricked us. Didn't Davo trick us with the stalker? He didn't know that. I'd, the I'd call that more betrayal. Yeah, okay, betrayal, yeah. I think there's currently one. Ordis. Well, he was going to... Je- I don't know. Does, does dream betrayal count as betrayal? He was going to chuck us out because he couldn't detect us as the I operator d- or something at one point. To be fair, he was broken at the time. So. No, he wasn't. He was a dream. Broken. He was a dream. Right? <laughs> a broken dream. It, it was... It was... Tenoception. You know, it was... It wasn't... It didn't actually happen. Because he thought you had died when <laughs> the queen had burrowed into your head but apparently you decided to have a dreamscape moment where you were walking up a mountain that actually apparently existed and yeah. which you hadn't seen or known about <laughs> well, oh, but I guess she had that was the point yeah you were sort of in her memories as well yeah and Tessian's memories and who knows oh well there we go no, you weren't in he was there and talked to you oh he was there and talked to you didn't he yeah. So anyway, back to Drugal's point. Do you think Nora will have a sentient backstory like the Lotus? No, I doubt it. I, we may see Nora at some point, but I bet it's just going to be some random person. And it's just, yeah, she's not going to be sentient esque. It's just going to be like, I was a freedom fighter and my family died when the Grenier. I'm just sorry, I can't accent. When the Grenier came and crushed them, but then the Corpus also betrayed me. So I'm not actually having any faction specific loyalty. I just hate everyone. Badass. There we go. Happy right. daily quests. I'm happy happy yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, now, now do some more emotes for me, Tano. Oh, look, you sat down. Amazing. Have some I more. It <laughs> but, oh, yeah, I was, scan uh, those credits. Scan those nanospores for me. Mm. Right. <laughs> ne- next, any more? No, community That's responses. A- oh, okay. Give me more more talk. Uh, That's good. Fill it with Q. Right. Tony Covain. Oh, yeah, I put this one in. Because I thought it was interesting. Yeah, the fact we have the sentience before the Natar quest doesn't make any sense for new players. Tilragor opened Panhau's tomb. There's sentience alive in, or- in the origin system, not counting Eidolon. That's a different kind of sentience. So, Battalist, Conquerist are fighters which Corpus are testing on. You see them in Venus. How are the Corpus testing with sentience that have not been released from Panhau's tomb? Because Venus and Jupiter are before Uranus. My law head hurts. <laughs> totally right on this one. It's like. So- Actually, to, the, yeah. to, to jump on this, um, Rebecca has actually stated that the sentience appearing in things is going to be locked behind one of the later quests. So, how are they going to do that? Well, I imagine they'll have like a flag in the database that says, Have what? you done but, this quest? No, okay, no, I don't mean the mobs, go- I mean the physical. Like you go to Venus, they're in the labs, in boxes and things. You know, in the in the test. Oh, no, I think I think Venus is too late. They broke it, but this is it's exclusively the Jovian Accord. It's like well, Concord. We'll, we'll God damn it! It's such a stupid name. If they are able to do that, I'd be very impressed. But we'll have to wait and see because otherwise, I'd like them to do that yeah. more. I, I would like them to do that. I really would because it means that they, when they make additions to the game, they are considering the actual perception of the law and the progression yeah. through it, and not just. Because in the past, I remember when they added what was originally the Phobos tile set, but was Mars and Captain Ball was two locations, and it was just like, oh, what is going on? And it was a big mess, it really was. All right, moving on. Ralkar. My update on the Wolf Hunt. 15 fights with him, 6 being level 75s, and my team giving up, but now I have two hammer parts. Well done. Well, now you can just go spam the tack alert. Yeah. Which will be, how long is the tackle alert for? To, well, actually, it'll probably be ending in a few hours after this releases. Is it, is it just open for the weekend? Yeah. Why do you think I called you up about it? I told you exclusively well, it goes away on Monday. I was sleeping. No, you didn't mention that bit. Oh, I did. Go. Okay, well, <laughs> didn't. Yeah, yeah, moving did. on. Awesome Todd says, well, maybe, Zeno, if you open Badger's meme gifts, you'd get 1k <laughs> subs. Huh? Yeah? 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 I don't know if I don't. Get, well, this is the problem. If I open up Badger's meme uh, gifts, I can't unopen them. So, you know, 
tell you what, I get 100, uh, sorry, I get a, uh, get a 100k subs. I get 1k subs, I'll open them up. There you go, promise. Oh, good. That'll save your pizza next time you, you better, you know, you know I'm still going to do as I said. What was that? Every, one, whenever, if I, if you, until you open up those gifts, if you, if I ever see you eating pizza in front of me, I'm going to slap one slice of pizza out of your hand. I'm going to put this <laughs> to the pizza. test. I'm going to put this to the test. <laughs> <laughs> right. then, like, okay. well, I just feel like Oz, we're out eating pizza. Why are you being so weird and difficult? Oh, I, I'll be like, there's poison on that. Saved your life. Don't just thank me. And then I'll, I'll just turn to the owners. I'm like, did you put poison on my pizza? He says you put poison on my pizza. I don't want poison pizza. The, 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 that's fine because then I'll walk up to them and just I say. I'm, I'm very sorry. My um, my friend has a bit of a disability, and um, I'm, he just has emotional outbursts. Just, just, just bear with him. He'll be fine. Now. It's fine, Drew. Just sit down. It's he's okay. He's okay. I He'll will say this is easily one hundred thousand views on YouTube. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how we get the subscribers lost. You smack the pizza out of my hands. <laughs> we record it, put it up on YouTube. Bam. Right. Of course. Of course. Right. Moving on. Kenneth Cunningham, about the magnetic effects, what if additionally they made enemies take longer to do their special attacks, like nullifiers taking longer to step up, uh, set up bubbles, those jackals taking longer to deploy shields, or the manic taking longer to go back invisible? Now, I think for some of those, I think somebody said something similar for the Exynos, like the fire shield things that is in the fire wave. Now, some of those I think it would be really hard to do, but for someone's mentioned there, I think it would be fine, but I think they'd have to put in more mobs with repeatable abilities for instance like the heavy gunners do a ground slam but they only do a ground slam once they never repeat that per per heavy gunner so i don't know i don't think there's enough repeatable enemies to, to make use of that cynical no lock what's this one? Oh god that awkward moment when you're a console tano hearing pc is being held back by console limitations also yeah. i'll take crackling joey over fake lotus any day of the week fair point <laughs> Stormfist101 says, so how do I claim my plat? I don't know who that... That, that is what I was referring to. You have to wait for DE to actually put it in your inbox. They'll let you know when they do that. Lovely. Zerugal says, I was not able to find the image that you guys were laughing at in the description below, and I would like to complain. <laughs> what? Yeah. what were we talking about? I think it might have been the pizza one. No, I'm pretty sure I put that in well, let me know, Drugal. Give me a timestamp. Oh, he did give me a timestamp. I'll, I'll check it for you. I'll check it for you. Right. Moving on. Squivel C. Self damage response. Have Audis message you when you take heavy amounts of self damage, asking if you're all right, but glitches and laughs. This would be a bit of a comical, a bit comical with a little frustration, causing people to maybe avoid it and think better of their shots. Could always have Audis say, get good, also in the transmission. Now. <laughs> I think maybe for explosive weapons is a bit harsh, but weren't we supposed to be getting mods that would let us do this kind of stuff? They did actually... Ooh, can I talk about that? Well, no, they did. They said about it that it was going to be one of the... for the, the, the flowers and mods head thing. Didn't they? It was announced. Um, yes, they did announce but it. But was going to be one that was... Yeah, and but it, it never came to pass. So top I'll men stop are you looking saying, into it. There you go, fine. Nazareth. Also oh. says, I'll stop it to save yourself. Here's the really important question. Are the Brits more or less ugly than Americans? Well, we are more ugly than everything because we're not going to lose at anything. That's true. More ugly. Okay. okay. <laughs> not quite sure where that came from, but fine. All right. It's a question. I had to answer it. What do you think? Are the Brits more or less ugly than Americans? I don't really know. I don't fucking objectify people. Oh, look at you, Mr. Politically Correct. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, topics? I think we're on. Right? Topics. That's anti-leftist. How dare you say oh, right? You've got to be fair to both sides. <laughs> what happened, Mr. Politically Correctness? We will now move forward in a non-descriptive or favourable method towards the next part of the show. You're an ass. Right. Right. Oh, he's telling Fuck off! Let me do it. it. God damn it! You anti-leftist scum. This is where, like, we're tr 
triggering YouTube to the nth degree. It's like, oh, we're definitely not having this. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Was it rightist or leftist mentality? I don't bloody. I, said well, I just meant you were favouring right-handed people over left-handed people. I didn't mean right or left. I mean... Yeah, but YouTube doesn't bloody know that, does it? That's so, true. That's true. So... Right. Let us move forward to the next part of the show today. The show today, Xeno. Correct. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. So, topic one. Not to be <laughs> confused one. with other topics of, of people believing people have numeric advantage and feeling down from it. What? Okay, fine. Topic I don't one. know. Just go topic on. Topic one. Uncooperative multiplayer shooter. Topic two. Wish there was some way to keep... Uh, wait. Some way to use up relics. And topic three. Dev Workshop Nightwave Changes for Series 2. So, topic 1. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized why this is so hard to read. because Right. Warframe is meant to be a cooperative shooter where everyone participates to achieve the objective. Map wipe frames stifle the ability to have shared responsibility of completing the objective. Maining them feels fine. You're running around, doing stuff, using abilities, killing tons of enemies, managing energy, etc. Agency and feedback, it's all there. The game loop is working. It's hooked. Uh, it hooks you in hard. Being on the same team as them with other frames, on the other hand, is not such a stellar experience. The main offenders are things that could improve. Wait, the main things that could improve are Sarin, making her spores respect line of sight or in a cone in front of Sarin, scaling spread, wait, scaling spread range and cost accordingly. Mesa, Decreasing reticle to always uh, sorry, to always be minimal. Oh, rah, 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 okay. It's a decreased reticle to always be minimal. And Equinox, simplest change would be to make her killing sphere into a wave sweeping across the area. Okay. How, how do people feel? Give me back. No. Do you back what? <laughs> all I'm seeing is all the cues, Lars. There we go. Give, give me back old Nova. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Nova. rooms explode again. I miss rooms exploding. I, I remember great. those times. They were good times, but my God, they were awful times. <laughs> the best times. They were awful. They were awful only for toasters. For toasters, <laughs> they were terrible times because they would explode with the... <laughs> But for everyone else, they were like, "Look at that room explode! It was amazing." Do you remember Maybe when? Like... Do you remember when they originally announced Nova, and there's like the explosions cause a sequence of explosions? So the idea was one blows up, then another, then another. But for some reason, that translates to they all blow up at once. Well, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it was instantaneous. It was just like you wait, you because you you'd wait for the room to be as full as possible, push four once. One person blows up one mob, and the room explodes. It was brilliant. That's how it should. I mean, I suppose you could still do that if you you'd have to wait for the wave to pass through, and it just wouldn't. No, it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. It was, it was brilliant. So yeah, I mean, no, 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 the problem is not they need to nerf Saren, Mesa, Equinox, all these changes. No, no, the problem is fi is buff Nova. That's what we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. Exclusively Nova. Like, your bias right. is seeping through. I don't even play Nova. No, he doesn't. I don't even play. I'm the one that plays Nova. Oh my! Uh, it's it, to actually answer the person's actual serious question, though. It's really hard to say because the game has evolved a lot since the early days. Originally, you could best describe it as you survive to get loot, and now the game is more of a you kill everything on sight to get loot. We've become so much more powerful than the early days. It's kind of hard 
because the way the game is now evolved and scaled, you have to have you almost have to have that kind of damage to get missions done at a reasonable pace. So it's hard. It's a hard balancing check because I don't know if you've. How many game? How many different kinds of looter shooter games you play? But if you play like current Diablo three, for example, there was a time where in the four in the four squad meta, it was like two supports and two DPS for a long time. But when eventually it became like free support was just so strong where it was three people crowd controlling and one person doing damage, and it felt really boring not being able to like feel like you're actually doing much in the game so it's really it's a really hard the way the game's evolved it's really hard to bring back like the promise of like crowd control games volband is obviously the the biggest one of all because his entire kit is cc it's hard to bring that kind of kit to supplement the dps frames and have an equal point without it just overthrowing them entirely See, like, one, I'd argue that the three frames in question are really high damage dealing frames, right? So, mm-hmm. Equinox can just go like obliterate rooms and things. She, she is, or has been for a long time. God, what's her name? Uh, Ember two point for a very long time. She's been Ember two. Mesa, okay, but like to me, I I feel that the complaints carry more that they this person dislikes they dislike not doing anything, which was one of the biggest problems of Ember, right? Mm. And. I know, Loz, can you look up this person in game? I can. Yeah. I'm I'm genuinely interested to know what it is that they main and things like that. I mean, I main Oberon pretty much to the point of I, I'm there to heal people. I'm there to fill a role that nearly no one else fills. And I'm talking player, not character. Mm. So Yeah. I guess it's like the thing is though, if you was to bring in a line into line these three frames, who would probably be the next three frames that'll be the next three it'd be basically is this slippery slope of well these three DPS frames get nerfed, now these other three are now better than them. Do they need to now be nerfed at the same time? I think the problem with DPS being king it's a gameplay design problem and not a frame problem. For a lot of the time. Although, to be fair, Saren literally can infect an entire map and just completely turn it into a cakewalk. It's a bit, maybe a little too strong. Mesa, I think, is a bad choice because you actually still have to aim with it. You have to have line of sight. And if you're doing it too long, obviously, your field of view thing narrows to the point where you can't hit things at long range accurate, at least consistently. And what was the other one, Equinox, was it? Equinox still requires build up time and it requires, it does require the assistance of your team, unless you're in a, obviously in a solo environment, to get those ridiculous damage waves go, to go off. So even if um, the, no, the Equinox is like on top of the damage, like, like 50% damage, it still requires the team to put in the work to make those numbers happen. Yeah. Think, the like, only one I would, the only one I kind of agree on that might need a tone down at some point in the future would be Saren, but I wouldn't know how to go about that because I haven't really thought about that about long enough to really give a concise view. Because it goes by the idea of narrowing the field of, to a cone in front of her, it just makes the mini game of trying to keep the spores going really annoying. <laughs> well, I can, I can, I can imagine some line of sight additions though. I mean, for the initial cast, and then allow them to spread from out of line of sight. But I can add, it's just, I don't get why they add it. Why? I mean, I remember when they changed to Excalibur's blind and made that line of sight. And also, there's a. Uh, those, were, those were ridiculous spot point that you 
used you know, to abuse at some point. So they added that in. I don't get why they didn't just add it into all abilities at that point. Like line of sight should just be a standard point to start from, and then it gets changed maybe away for things like maybe Trinity's blessing, which even then they did reduce the range on it because maybe that should be out of line of sight. You don't need to be in line of sight of the Trinity. Fair enough, but enemy ability should. Be. Yeah, you go. Okay, uh, I've got the player up on account if you. Want. Okay, what's their most played Warframe? Oh, okay. Well, they're Master to rank 21. <laughs> their first played Warframe is Sam. <laughs> Interesting. Who's their second? Let's check Saren Prime. They even have Saren Prime? They do. Three. They also have... Oh, their most used... Bacor Heck, Aklex, Atarax, Carrier, Deconstruct Prime, Odinata Grattler, Veritux, Schwack Prism. Mm. And they have 650. You cut out. 650 hours played. 650 hours played. Yep. And I, if I said at the start, they are Mass Rank 21, Nick Ghost Clan. They don't even have an emblem. <laughs> I I don't know. Like, th there's always going to be top frames. There's always going to be like I remember radial javelin. Oh god, Excalibur was a huge problem, right? Greedy pull mag with Mesa was a problem. Yeah, Trinity with um, God Excalibur radial javelin. No, well, Nova was a problem because she was killing PlayStation 4s. <laughs> Do you remember the really odd times where every squad you'd enter, at least 50% of them would be all rhinos? Uh, yeah. That, that, was, that was an old, that was a long time where Rhino was just considered the top dog. Uh, yeah, there was Ember. Ember had to get a nerf because everyone was playing fucking Ember. Do you remember her original World on Fire where it just did constant DPS to everything around you with like no delay, it's just constant burn damage? Yeah, uh, combine that with the ability they removed, which was overheat, which was 96% <laughs> damage reduction, I think, at max. Something crazy like that. And that's when we only had a handful of mods which would increase it anyway. And it was just like, right, tanky mage frame away! Yeah. <laughs> removed, frame gutted, never used. Yeah. And then there was the oldest time where I was like when Zini was the biggest farm thing and you yep. needed a Nyx to even do it. <laughs> oh, this is going back like could could be used. Yeah, it was Zini. We used to always do Zini. Didn't this we? is like yeah. five years ago though, to be fair. So. And then and then there was Ash. Like Oh god. Because you just lock down enemies with his uh, whenever you went into Bladestorm and you couldn't do any damage to the enemies that he'd locked down. <laughs> and it's just like, cool, so I'm shooting at an enemy that's shooting at me, but I can't do anything to it. Awesome. Love this. Oh, wait. No. The other thing. But it looked cool. <laughs> like, to be fair, I yeah. don't think, with the exception of maybe like four, five or six maybe frames, there's been, at least in the olden time of Warframe, I think there's only been like a five or six that have not been like the top meta frame for a while, for at least a period of time. Like some of the newer ones, definitely not like Harrow or a Vampire Frame, whose name I always forget. I don't uh, no think Vault's ever been the meta frame. Vault's no, always he been has. Okay. Fucking when? like, well, whenever it's a case of oh, you're cracking up, uh, cracking open like relics and things like capture relic. Oh, throw on a vault. Do it, like, in two seconds. That's hardly enough to make him a meta frame. No, there was a big thing about it. There was a huge thing about it. Nah. No, there was. No, nah, he, he can run was. quick, that boy. It's, run quick. Yeah, genuinely, it was the reason why people fucking played Vault. To crack open. There was. That doesn't, just because people play doesn't make a meta frame. That's, 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 that's ridiculous. No, meta, no, that's, pretty, that, that, pretty, that, pretty, pretty sure it does. Yeah. No. There was for a very brief time. I can't remember exactly when. It's after they changed the over the overload to uh, it became like the perfect lockdown for uh, Inception missions. That was a very common sight to see vaults on that. 
it's not the same anymore because better things now exist for it, but it was like one of the go-to choices for a lot of people. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, like, still, I don't, I don't, I don't ever remember the time when Vault was, I mean, yeah, it was probably like, ah, oh, he's all right, but I don't think it was, I think it was like, oh yeah, we can get to like, <laughs> wait, 500 interception or something stupid like that. <laughs> oh like, oh like, God, dude, what you call bloody limbo? You know, <laughs> Oh, number uh, of people that pitch a fit of a fucking limbo. I will admit, I was an OG, I was a pre rework limbo main, and I never went into live squads with him because everyone just like quit the squad, quit the squad. It's like, guys, I'm not doing anything. I'm yeah. Just look, looking cool. That's all I want to do. Yeah, I think it was the risk <laughs> potential thing. It's like, yes, you might be the one good limbo on this game. We're not gonna risk. It. We're just not gonna risk it. Or you could be a baddie. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> cool replies. But... Okay, I do find. Sorry, I do find <laughs> while playing Saren, I have a mild frustration a few times a mission where I tr- where I'm trying to cast spore on an enemy running back and forth in front of me, maybe at a distance, but my reticle just never rests on them for that split second to recognize the enemy as my intended target. A casting cone, wherever I'm aiming, would also would solve. That's fair. No, but this player is saying to nerf it. That response is to saying to buff it. Yeah, <laughs> I think this this reply has missed the point of this post. Next reply: Unless you're playing level twenty content, maim is hardly OP since Equinox has to work and build up charges. I agree on Mesa and Saren needing some fine tuning. Once could once could argue that Vault falls into that category as well. Yep. Suck it, Loz. <laughs> um, wow. The random reply definitely told me. Wow. Part of it. No, I muted um, this, uh, OBS for that. <laughs> so that the audience isn't deafened. You're deafened, you know, but they're not deafened when I just died. You don't need deafened to hear. You. you don't need to hear. Right, hey, moving on. I think it's, it says MWF S. That- oh, actually, sorry. One thing, one thing I wanted to point out. Um, Equinox is one of the best um, DPS warframes out there because of what Scarlet was saying earlier. So yeah, um, Equinox is like way better than like Ember ever was. Yeah, MWFs won't just do well; they're guaranteed to replace the whole squad. Main Warframes, Meta Warframes won't just do well. Mm, no. Yeah, probably Meta Warframes. Oh, do you know what? Can I just point something randomly? What is it with everyone at the moment in deciding to do tier lists? I'm sick of tier <laughs> lists of Wolf. Just I was, stop. No, I, I was complaining I, about that earlier. I, I actually love the one by, oh God, Annoying Killer. He, yes. Did you he see that one? He controlled everyone. Yeah, it's yes, fucking awesome. Uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just put a Oberon at the top. Oberon there. Yep. And then everyone else. Yep. Like, well done, good sir. Yeah, even I like that. Yeah, and I don't like Oberon, but I approve of his tier list because it's like I like this one. Good job. Yep. Yes, this is best. <laughs> I'm sick of all these. Oh, this is F tier. I mean, do you know? We I remember we had this like four or five years ago that there was an obsession with with tearing all the frames, and then it went away for years. I've never really seen it, and now there's an obsession again. We're doing it. I'm just like, don't care. The just only frame. The only good tier list. Is Zandy Pants drift frame tier list? Well, see, there we go. There's some reason for that. Yeah, I can get behind that. Right. Last reply. In the past, I've suggested some form of case by case enemy resistance to abilities based on what those powers do. Like, machines aren't affected or affected less strongly by slash or toxin procs and abilities related. Uh, and act as lightning rods for Vault's discharge, but in turn take way more damage based on how many enemies they're lightning rodded for and get messed up. More by Mag's powers. Now, I, I, it's, it's, it's nice to say let's have it redone like that kind of thing, but then at the same time, you, you don't, you'd have to set up these situations, and it means that you get a Warframe which can only really fight one 
faction. That's why they had to make mags... Uh, what was it? The shield. Originally, she only had a shield destroying ability, but now it also affects armor because mm. otherwise she's just used a sense of grenade. And it's it's really it's corpus. nice thematically. Corpus, sorry, corpus. Yeah, I said it wrong. Then. Yes, but it's it's nice thematically that it's like oh yeah, it only affects the shields. It does nothing to armor because she's anti. It's like map polarized. I think it was or whatever it was. But functionally, at some point, you have to give away to the fact that this is a computer game and it doesn't make sense to have a character that you want people to play that character that just goes oh well. One third of our content, if not more, really, because Grenier are quite common. Just this character is useless against it. It just doesn't work. So I, I, I much prefer the system we've got than having some clever thing about robots take this damage. And but don't be wrong, I think damage two point does need an update. But I don't think having it to the ability, basing it on each ability, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. I think there'd be some like room for just like some at least amusing interactions, just to. I'd like a little bit of like fluff detail to it, but nothing that's critically game changing. Yeah. I mean, there was a long time where it was the case of certain frames are absolutely insane versus some factions and completely trash against others. And it wasn't fun because if you like, oh, I let's say this is the old Warframe and sorties were introduced, and let's say your favorite frame was Mag, for example. It's like, oh, it's a grenier, it's a grenier one. I'm not doing this. Or, oh, it's infested. I'm not doing this one either. <laughs> It's it's to be to be honest, it's one of the reasons why I hate the the implementation of the arbitrations. It's mm -hmm. it's just a simple case of like that's a warframe I don't like. I'm not gonna do it. You know, that's a warframe. That submission mode I don't like. I'm not gonna do it. There was one of the night waves this past week, which was do forty waves of defense. And a friend of mine asked if I could come help. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I think we were there for like, an, oh God, it was over an hour, right? He thought, oh, it'll only take like, you know, 20 minutes. And, nah. Nah. Like, you know, 40 minute um, survival. You know exactly how long that's going to take. Defense, it really depends entirely on how quickly you can kill shit. Mm. So. Especially, like, especially depending on your setup. If you decide, oh, let's speed up the first 20 waves with Nova. And now if you press your four again, we all die horribly. Please yep. don't do that. And then you don't do anything for the rest of the game. Uh, there's a lot of things. I just had a Windows notification. Why did that happen? Okay. Uh, I've lost my train of port now. Never mind. <laughs> the replies? That's it. That's it. Cool. Right. Yeah, okay, shall we move on to the next topic? Do we have anything? Do, do we want a card from this? How can we card? How can we card this, Lars? Buff Nova? Buff Nova, <laughs> question mark. I mean, the fact that Nova's not even on that list either shows that she's actually in a very good place and completely balanced. Or oh, she needs buffing! <laughs> I, I personally think Nova's fine because there's still plenty of stuff for you to do I think the complaint here is the fact that one Warframe can wipe the environment Nova right? used to be that Warframe yeah Nova did used to be that Warframe but you can still shoot shit now right so uh, let's make a card Do does something need to change about these yeah does something to change about these frames? And people are like, what frames? What? That. Scroll up. That there. Scroll down. Topic two. Right. Wish there was some way to use up relics. I am not really a serious player, yet I get sh showered with dozens of relics by casual play and they just keep stacking on and on. I'm pretty sure it is even worse for people who played longer. As of now, the best I can do is hope for capture slash rescue fisher missions to show up fastest in finishing but even those get tiring after a while 
I really wish if we could just trade our relics for void traces or small sum of ducats with Barrow or someone else so that relics can actually be used up. Also, it would be very nice for a way to mark relics, especially Volta ones. So they were talking about that in the new UI and everything. That you could see distinguished vaulted relics from everything else. At least vaulted rewards. So uh what 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 do you what do you guys feel in this one? Oz is clearly hiding behind the webcam. Don't mind <laughs> there was a time where I thought when I was playing the game like almost every like day it was like oh, i'm going to try and complete all my relics just so i can get all the loot i have currently i have potentially but by the time i did about 200 odd relics i still had more rel almost more relics than when i started <laughs> because of random drop chance i think i okay uh you i'm assuming you guys remember the uh, the old key tower system that they used to have oh totally yeah, that was that was an interesting one because I like I like the concept of that where it's just like yeah, the whole the Oricon Void was like only accessible through having certain items, and the relic system I don't like because it was always advertised as it was originally it was make it easier to get the parts you wanted. But the RNG is still terrible on it. <laughs> I would rather have frequently less relics given to me but have higher chance of getting the specific items I wanted. And that's just my personal opinion as someone who only plays like maybe a couple hours every few days at this point. Just because it's just a, the grind is tedious, especially when you're trying to get rare parts. Yeah, I, I, I find it hard to mess in on that because I don't think I've ever seriously gone at a prime, when a, you know, prime set of stuff any, for years now. So I, I can appreciate that. I, I remember seeing when the relic change happened and was like, mm, I'm not sure. And yeah, full disclosure, I, I'm a I'm a lazy person who just literally buys every prime access. Now I'm able to do that. It means I don't have to do the grind, but I can, I, I can see that that grind is just ridiculous. And I, I like the fact that at least they they're making small changes. So you, a you can see that the vault you can now see there if it's a vaulted relic, and B I'm shocked at that you can upgrade in steps if you want to. I never realized before that if you made it to a level two relic, you then were locked out from making it a level three relic. That's just crazy to me. It's just ridiculous. It's like, why why bother? Why almost bother with the other tiers? You might as well just have zero and three. Mm. Does, does anyone go out there and say, oh, yes, I'm going to knock all my relics up to level one? Then <laughs> I, re I really just don't think that's an issue. It, I just think they should just have zero and unlocked relic. It, it just, yeah. It's... I also, I will admit, I absolutely despise getting farming void traces is so boring it is not only is it because obviously i work i work well and obviously i work a full-time job i probably have like an hour a day to play the game at this point on most days but if farming void traces you have to a hope for a submission that you like for a start because a lot i, I dislike i do i dislike a lot of doing missions i'd rather just do a bunch of sabot a bunch of uh uh What's the kill when you kill a specific target? I've forgotten what it's called. Not the assassinate, the other one. Exterminate. Capture. Sorry, capture. That's it. Forgot. <laughs> Forgot the word for capture there. I'd rather just do a bunch of those, get my void traces, and get out. And if there's not a single capture one, it's like I don't really want to do any void trace farming at the moment because it's just boring. And the changes that they made probably like a year or two ago, where you could got like a lot of them from um, defense missions. If, unless you already have a group of friends that's a play like you can play with regularly, almost no one in public missions sticks around to do those longer missions. Oh yeah, it's like very rare you can actually encourage people to do it. So you're just like, there's no. <laughs> what's the point? So yeah, make void make void tracing trace farming less boring. I I want to to be honest. This this is what I want to propose. Sack off void traces entirely, right? Oh, I'd, I'd be. I already. I don't know what the rest of your idea is, but I'm going to agree with it. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to counter it in a minute. But okay. Okay. <laughs> Sack off void traces entirely, right? And or or housing void traces, 
right? So you, you don't have a pile of them collecting in a corner that you must spend. Have it so that you pick up, so like you have equipped a relic of your choice. It is in your gear. Any void traces you get, go straight to that relic, right? And the game will notify you, well, and you can check on it as you're playing the game, what state it's at. And then when it's maxed out, you can swap it for an un, um, un, fuck, name, word, please. Unrefined. Thank you. Unrefined relic. Mid-mission. Right. Sure, why not? Just have it set so it automatically swaps to the same relic if you have another one available in your inventory for it of an unranked or an unrefined version. Yeah, because, like, I know some people are constantly engaging with that terminal, right? Personally, for me, out of sight, out of mind. I'm not looking at that fucking thing. I don't remember it's there. I have no idea what my void traces are. Hell, if they had a terminal at the front, this is your current level of void traces. Or is it in the top right-hand corner where they stacked all those notifications? No? Again, tell me how many void traces I have at any other place, any easily accessible place, and I would spend them. But I don't know, so I don't care. Well, not don't care, but don't know I need to do anything with it. Hmm. Oh, I, I can see what you mean. So basically, it just becomes an automated system. I do think that would encourage more use of it, because even then I would be more interested in swapping relics out and just adding to the radiant pile, because basically you're... Like in, I see what everyone's played Pokemon, when you put a Pokemon in the trainer <laughs> and yeah. it trains for every step. It's that kind of thing, but relics. And there could be a cool UI where you put it in this chamber and it's floating, like slowly absorbing stuff. And then as you walk around, it absorbs more void traces and yeah. it becomes complete. And then it just swaps. You could have it, as you say, uh, it swaps out and you could have it swap out. It'll keep using that type until you run out of type and it'll keep using that error until, until you use that error and then it'll go to other ones. You could easily have it. I, I, think, I think you should swap it out manually. But I'm I'm I'm, well, no, to I'm totally you, not gonna. Just, no 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 no. You've just you've just counted yourself. Why? Because if, if you have to swap it out manually, it won't be able to be done mid mission, will it? No, you can still swap it out. Um, well, because the whole point is mid mission. No, no, because the whole idea is that you're going to be able to actually expend your void traces mid mission to rank up your relics. So why yeah. can't? So why can't you just swap it out and just go? Oh, I can swap out the thing mid-mission. Why? 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 Why even bother having it that you have to manually swap it out? Well, I thought this was going to be just you expanding it completely because these you, you're getting rid of the traces completely, so that it's nothing to do with your thinking just in specifically in the missions where you use them. I thought you meant that you'll always be relling, leveling up relics in all missions, so that, that you just go do any mission. Sure, I'm fine with that as well. Of, like almost um, anywhere. Yeah. I'm because fucking... it gets rid of this whole busy work. And the only reason I can say that it, you, your thing has a thing is that, and that's why it needs to be automatic, is it, it removes the busy work aspect of it. Because that's the only thing that is ridiculous about this. Is like, go to terminal, yeah. scroll through a massive pile of stuff, click one, different tiers of weirdness. And it's just like, what am I doing here? Yeah. However, I still don't think, I think it's nice, a different thing. But I am, um, and this is what I was going to suggest, which the person in the OP suggested, is that it doesn't actually fix the normal thing of using them up. I mean, no, I've not gone and done a lot of them, but I'm sitting on piles and piles of them, and I've oh, I've got thirty of this one. I don't even know where that came from, and I'm just like, eh. So well, I you can trade I them with other players. Pines. You can trade them with other players. Can you hear that, Drew? No. Are you sure? No. Who do you think don't, it is? Don't. Don't. What's, what can don't. you hear, Drew? Better question it's is the silent sirens of, of the, the care, care police. police. Yeah, yeah. Coming to <laughs> take you away. Okay. Now, why would I trade with other players? I mean, I'm the one with the platinum. I'm literally just going to go buy a wolf sledge in a minute just because I can't be bothered. What? I mean, there's the really obvious solution to to do to reducing the number of is have the same thing we have with the Riven system of just being able to put them into a blender and split and spit out a different relic. 
preferably one that you could choose. And obviously, there would have to be like two restrictions of a no vaulted relics to be able to spit out from it, and b no relics have only been released with a recent prime release. It'd have to be like I don't know, a couple of weeks, month, maybe delay before it let you. No, I, th- I can get behind. I mean, seeing as it'd be you, you're basically RNG into a pool. I think having the new one, if you're gonna also if you're gonna knock out vaulted, I think having the new ones being in the pool is just mandatory. Because yeah, if, hmm. then if somebody wants to go grind, you can even make it like ten to one ratio. Yeah, if somebody wants to go grind out like a hundred more relics, you know, ready for a release. Yeah, that gets them ten pos- a chance at ten of the new ones. I yeah. mean, that's fine, really. I mean, if, yeah, if you really want to go farming, you don't have to do that, you know, because you're more likely to get that relic from just playing <laughs> after release, you know. Mm. But I say let's let people smash them. Just let people smash. Them. <laughs> so here's here's a point. What if you could spend some of the truck tons of resources that you have amassed, right? Oricon cells, argon crystals. And you can just crack them open. And just get. I was gonna. I was gonna share something like that. Well, I would say smash them for. Let's let's go back to how the system is now. Crack them. You're guaranteed, let's say, a set amount of void traces per thing. Yeah. And there is a five percent chance that you'll get something from the reward tier. You, you know, you you manage to crack it while saving the relic. But then, when you get a reward, it's. A re- so it's, it bases the chances on what's already in there. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, the rarity. Hmm. Yeah. So if it, if you if you were to radiant it and then smash it, you'd have a slightly higher chance than if you just smashed it. And it would be obviously it'd be from the list of what's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think mean, that'd be cool. I like that idea. It gives me something to do with all my God knows how many ESO radiant relics that I've been receiving. Yeah. Can, if, if that's the case, can we remove the cap on bloody void traces? You can, have? please. That cap is too small already. I mean, it's. It, I don't get why we void traces. You need to be finding void traces in more places. They should just be found in the void in general, and that cap needs to go. Because they added in ESO, where it literally goes, What's that? You want radiant relics? It's radiant relic, radiant relic, radiant relic, radiant relic, radiant relic. What's the point? What is the point? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> so there are several relics that aren't available in ESO. Oh, yeah, I guess. But, but you know what? I. I, I just gonna just do random relics. I think it's too much effort to do a specific one. I'll just do whatever ESO hands me. Probably easier to just do whatever, sell stuff or plat, then buy the stuff you want than farm the one thing you want. I do find it interesting though that the amount of relics we do get. I don't know how often you guys do uh, fishing missions with random squaddies, but I've seen more vaulted relics being put into that pool. <laughs> Than I do non vaulted ones, it seems. People are just trying to burn through them. Yeah, no, I do. I generally just put my vaulted stuff on there because I'm just like, oh, that, that looks old. And people are like, whoa, you're using vaulted relics. I'm like, okay. I've got like a hundred of each of them. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so one, yeah. one question I'm asking is should relic leveling be like Pokemon Daycare? Is, I, I'm totally on board for that. Like, If it auto-swaps out, then yes. If it doesn't, then no. Yeah, well, I mean, no, I even, even if it doesn't auto-swap, as long as it's like... Because, you know, the daycare is just like, I'm ringing you to let you know your Pokemon is ready to pick up. You know? The- oh, if you, like, if you, like, get out the mission... And then it, you, as soon as you pop into your list set, it goes, your relic is come to, is full. Do you want to swap it? And just go, yes and no. Yeah. And it, well, yes, no, and automatic. So, like, yes, you do it manually. No, well, you leave it automatic. It puts the next similar one. Well, let's just make it... I, I, I'd love to see this, and I think there needs to be more things on there. When you finish your mission, you've got the tabs at the end. You've got your normal finish green, then you've got your syndicates. Let's just put a, re- a tab in there for relics. And you could just... It, if it, And if it finishes during the mission, it... it starts you on instead of the normal finish page it starts you on that page and goes relic finished would you like to upgrade <laughs> another one yes and you could see it and then you could choose and it would just be there and then that's just a better go. idea <laughs> yeah okay. I, to be honest yeah. like uh, the idea of yes no automatic like the big thing is with yes you could have it just you know when you get back you're instantly in front of the th- uh, thing that's pretty much it yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to make. I don't want to add that. I'd rather add a thing to attack. Oh, no, I, I get. No, I. Prefer, I prefer your way. I totally prefer yeah. your. Oh, way. I, I prefer your way, and I had my idea. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Right. I'm not quite sure if we should uh, ask the card, do you use... Uh, sorry, are you ever... Basically, do you find yourself frequently maxed out on Void Tracers? But I think we had that card many moons ago. I think I'd rather save two cards for the last topic, which is about Nightwave. Oh, I, I'm, no, I'm tempted to say, would you like to see updates slash changes to the Void Relic? Would you like to see changes to Void Relic slash Tracer? No, but we, we asked about the Pokemon Daycare. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, we you're were, asking that, are you? No, we already, yeah, we've already asked that. It's fine. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, 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 so we've asked that one, but and we've got right. two cards left. I think save both of those for the last topic, yeah? All right, mm -hmm. then. Cool, so... Um, are we on to replies? Have we done replies? I don't know. No, we haven't. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's throw these little things. Or it would time. save so much time playing low-level missions over and over again to get anywhere from 60 to 30 Void Tracers if you could just melt the Relic down for a guaranteed amount dependent of rare Relic Relic. You see, I, I, yeah, maybe. Yeah, just, I'd like to see more to it than just, hey, smash it, get Relic. So I would get... Traces. I'd like to see like, some more charts up there. A part of me was thinking, oh, maybe you could only smash like five a day. No, nope, don't want to turn it into a mobile game. You know, oh, maybe you could. You've reached your daily cap. Exactly. Spend five patterns to smash five more. Yeah, no, maybe you could spend recently. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to put caps on it. Like, I really want to push away from that. Uh, you see, the thing is. It already, it already is quite mobile game ish because the cap of your void traces is based on your mastery rank. And yeah, but like, no, no, that's I, just I, how I many mind. you can hold. That's not how many you get per day, right? I guess. Yeah. So that that's that's the thing I don't like about the cap is because you can still get more void traces, right? It just falls into the void. Yeah. yeah. So All right, next one. We need at least one capture or exterminate Fisher for each relic error available any time. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 it would be nice. I know that's the most efficient, but it's just not, not really. Just then people will be able to do that. Next one. My question is, why is this a problem at all? I see no problem at all having hundreds of relics. I will never open all of them. I still have hundreds left for when it changed from keys to relics. Yeah. Like ditto. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I would like to see some. I'd like to see the system progress. It's nothing to do with the amount that people have. It's just to do with the amount. The system. I just think the system could do it. Too many systems in this game get added in and then don't get a quick quality of life. Hey, could, yeah, quality of life improvements or just just polish, you know, once over. And I think the system's been out for three years now. Could do with the once over. And and if and seeing as they picked up things like you know upgrading from two to three, do then, you yeah, I, I, do you think there's a problem with cracking open relics? Because we've none of us have actually complained about that. Or, I mean, well, I mean, you know, you have to go run missions to crack open a relic. No, none we, of us. We suggested, we suggested that you could just smash them, get a chance of you get guaranteed traces and a chance at the item from smashing them. But we didn't really like, you know. Oh no, we have to do that because it's that was more like a passing statement. I think we are, we are more hung up on getting them to be worth anything. Yeah. Our supply. Personally, I would be happy if we could just convert each relic to something like a hundred, or even as low as one credit a piece at least. That way, clear my relic inventory, save, save the storage. Yes, right, because there's a limit. Yeah, totally. Just, yeah, well, that's it. Should you be able to sell your argon crystal? No, argon crystals. Your um, <laughs> your gallium. You know. Anyway. I've still got probably more nanospores than the game can display thanks to the days of Zini. So. Yep. 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 Right. I think we're on the third topic now, aren't we? Third topic. Dev Workshop Nightwave changes for Series 2. So they spoke about a playing catch up um, mechanic for stored slash missed axe. There will be fewer overall acts um, that give more. So, like, you'll get the same amount of Nightwave rep, but it's over fewer acts, which is, I think, personally good. Uh, some of the more annoying challenges 
like those requiring friends and clanmates, no long uh, so no longer requirements. Do, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. That should be another point. Right. So some of the annoying challenges have been removed from the game. So requiring friends and clanmates that have just gone. Longer requirements, like the perfect conservations, have been reduced. Uh, new acts, as well as uh, as well, will be introduced. New story called the emissary. The wolf will be around still and have a chance to spawn. I think it's that's based on like the level of the mission you're doing. Uh, and wolf creds. This is really important. Will expire at the end of series one. So if we want to just briefly go over some of the stuff, so like the catch-up mechanic, the biggest change we wanted to announce was the addition of a system which allows players, sorry, allow you to play missed acts after you complete the current acts you were given uh, for your given week. This will only happen to weekly and elite weekly acts. So they're calling acts, not tasks. When both weekly and elite acts are completed for a week, a missed act from the previous week will be available to play and complete. Once you've completed all missed acts, there will no longer so they will no longer appear, only the refreshed in the week, next week's rotation. Um right, they Is have, an act a week? Huh? Is an act a week? No, an act is a task. So, you know, display a badge, do three sorties. Sorry, display a glyph. Um, so basically, if you miss them in a week, they'll just go into this spare act pool. And if you ever finish a week, they'll pop up there and you just keep chewing. Yes. But you, yeah. as far as I can tell, you only get one at a time. You don't have a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Um... So, so there's going to be two elite acts as opposed to the current three. And there's going to be three normal... Wait, hold on. Sorry. Seven weekly acts, three elite acts will be reduced down to five weekly acts and two elite um, acts. So instead of seven and three, it now becomes five and two. So a total of seven things to do each week instead of ten. Ten is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I kind of like that. It, it it was yeah. It, I think this is, should be quite interesting. There was a lot of random things to do. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be less of these things to do. I mean, sometimes you would always try and hope that some things would overlap, but at least this way, it's just you've got because I don't know. Since I finished the system i mean I, i've just been taking it as a time to go for a break i mean have you been still doing everything zeno no no i i i stopped i gave up the will to you live. stopped as well yep wow yeah and um so i i kind of i'm looking forward to this because i do miss the reason to doing things it was just even though i don't even care too much about using the armor just having the nice goal to work towards i i found motivating so i can't wait for this to come back and it is nice that it's not going to be a a stupid long list of things to do each week and it'll be quite short to do so i i, I think it's a good change good I'm worried that they might be swinging the pendulum too far the other way. Maybe. Um, some of the other stuff. Um, five sorties is now down to three. They already did that. 60 yeah, wave survival. Sorry, 60 minute survival is now 30. Ayrton uh, socket requirement from five to three. Ten perfect conservations down to six. Ten bounties down to five. Thank fucking God. Isn't it five different bounties? Yeah, but it was um, what's called? It? Oh, five different. Uh, I, yeah, again, so, I'm not. So it, it makes you play the different. No, it's fine. It is better because it also means you're going to have to do less bounties, and the bounties you're going to do are going to be different, which is yeah. good. It, it it might be harder, which is a bit of might be an issue for lower level players, but at least what you're doing will be more motivating because I oh god running the level one bounty ten times was just the stupidest thing in the world. But yep. the easiest way to get it done. The and then the surprising one to me was they increased the sanctuary onslaught axe 
from three to uh, sorry from three rounds to eight rounds. That also makes sense because yeah. three rounds was that was that was completely the way. Three yeah, three rounds was just laughable. It meant that you wouldn't actually get a good game because most people can do beyond three rounds. Yep. And so now people will do eight rounds, which I think is about fair. You can do eight rounds without paying attention and yeah. you feel like you've achieved something. Is that is it four rounds per is that two? No, it's, it's two it's two rounds per reward. Oh, so that's four four rewards rather than one and a half like it was before. Well, just and you do minutes. and you do get access to the and it doesn't encourage to go for the rotation seed table, which is normally the one that most people care about. Yep. Yeah. No, that's, that's a very good change. Yeah. Uh, new daily axe, five syndicate. Sorry, find five syndicate medallions. Transmute twelve mods. Really, deploy an air support Tra charge. Transmute twelve mods. What does? Well, just do transmutation four times. Is it? Sorry, three times. Three times. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was wor I was worried it would be acquire twelve mods, which would be forty eight no. mods stuck into. <laughs> Yeah, uh, deploy an air support charge in a mission. I don't even know how to do that. Just across them. Pet your Kubro or Kavat. Very important. So, yeah, I mean, oh, wow, so hard. Weekly, complete three Kuva uh, mm -hmm. Siphon missions. Easy. Complete three different K-Drive races in Orb Valis. No, I refuse to do that. No. I, I think I, it should be... Mm. I don't care. I'm not... I... No, I, I don't mind that. I might do it once. I'm not doing it again. It's better than fishing, man. I don't know. <laughs> like, they, they haven't done anything to the fishing one. Oh, fishing rare yep. fish. Uh, and then there's the Elite uh, Weekly, which is complete a spy using your operator. Which I like the idea of, and I do hope that they put more stuff like that in. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so that that's the the highlights of the post. What are your guys' thoughts and feels? As said earlier, anything to make it feel less like a job and more like a video game. I'm more down for changes. Um, obviously, because I mean, I'm definitely in favor of a lot of these ones, just because I have less time to actually play the game. So. If I'm spending, if a, it only takes me 30 minutes rather than an hour to get all my weekly done in the one or two gaming sessions a week I can, that gives me another 30 minutes to actually play while enjoying the game. So can't really complain, can I? Yeah. Uh, Mark, I think these are good changes. Um, that's, that's a very good point there. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to get mine done on Monday night so that most of it would be done for the week, but at least it would encourage me to log in and I'd also help other people doing them. If it means I don't have to work, you know, it's nice if you can get them all done one night. And some some weeks I would be like, oh, but I have to do this on another day, or this is working. And so it'd be nice to get them all done one day. My issue is more with the law side of things. So I mean, I, I imagine the rewards are kind of going to be the same each time, but just different cosmetics and different things each time. I, I feel the one thing that hasn't really been addressed is I feel the law was really lacking on this one. It was a nice concept, but then it didn't really have a payoff apart from Wolf Bad. Bad wolf, bad, bad wolf, bad. You've got weapon, take weapon. You know you. Weapon. That that was one thing I disliked about the conclusion, or the therefore lack of, for the wolf of Saturn Six. Yeah, it, it, it just like, like with a lot of content. What the, when they do a drop of content, they have to tie it all together. So his story feels like it's going in one direction, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is Jupiter, this is Jovian stuff lead into that. And it's like that doesn't feel like a natural progression for where this was going. But it has to, just because that's the next thing coming, and we have to make it tie together. Like, like our always favorite, fav uh, famous example of we need to release Hydroid. Let's put him on the new boss we're releasing, who's high level but on Earth low level. And to get access to the boss, you have to go do the new melee mobs on the new tile set at the other end of the bloody map to go get the new frame. It's like why? Why are all these things in this line? Because that's all the new content. Like, ugh. So yeah, I'm hoping the next one has a self-contained story that doesn't need to bleed into the next whatever patch we're getting and is can, can actually add lore to the game because the wolf is all right, but like why we didn't find out anything more about Saturn 6. What what were they doing on Saturn 6? It's like what were the experiments, what was going on? Instead, it's just 
ah, but it's the Jupiter stuff the experiments were about and things like no, no, I didn't. I didn't we didn't even get to go to Saturn Six. We didn't exactly. We didn't get to go to Saturn Six. It was just the Wolf of the Wolf. It was just it's, it's just like what, Saturn Six maybe. That sounds cool. Let's go there. It's secret, secrets. There could be Grenier secrets. No, no, it's just no. Who else is down there? I mean, surely if that's their most worst, the, the terriblest prison of all their mad, crazy people, it's like, what other crazy people are down there? Some other name dudes appearing. And, and you go into it. Wouldn't that be cool if there was a mission where you had to, the wolf goes back there to take control of it and because you force him back there? And then you have a mission where before, before fighting him, he opens up prisoner cells and there was a random named Grenier and all they had like crazy weapons and things. And they were each one like, could clearly have his own story of who he is, like, or she, you know, it'd be random things. You know. It'd be cool. Yeah, no, I, I agree. We get none of that. We get none of that because Jovian, 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 Jovian friendships, and this friendships is Jovian magic. I don't know what, whatever's going on. Let me ask, attempted to ask a card. Do you, uh, would you care to go see Saturn Six? Do you want to return to Saturn Six? Because, <laughs> like, I think they would have to add in new tiles for it. I think uh, recolor the Cuba Fortress tiles. I'd say. Sure, they could recolor the Cuba Fortress tiles, but even so, I think it would be nice to see prison cell tiles. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that 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 is that is what I'd like to see. Hell, maybe you could actually go. This, you know, these are not fugitives, but convicts, and they they are kitted out with different Grenier garb, you know, and they actually have guns because they took them from the. Oh God, what are the name of the damn the guards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could do. Yeah, yeah. let's ask that as a question. I mean, the only thing I is, don't know. It could be a prison where there's no guns. Remember that, Zena? Oh, fuck's sake. Do you want to explain that one? No. Explain it for the that. audience. No. At least explain it for Scarlet. No. Do it. <laughs> it was so stupid, I'm not explaining it. We're moving no, on. You're, no, you're going to explain it. While I'm I write this question. Instead. No, while I write this question. Fine, I'll explain it. Um, would you like to go? Fine! Bloody Star Wars The Old Republic had a bloody prison where apparently there was no bloody guns, but then everyone had bloody guns from nowhere. So it was... It where did was, they get the guns from? It was <laughs> so oh, wait, the prison was stupid. Planet with no guns! And when you arrived there, everyone apart everyone from the guns. people that didn't have guns had guns. But it seemed to be everyone apart from the prison guards had guns by that point. Yeah. It's like... Something wrong has happened. Quick, let's bad. get the guns. Oh no, the prisoners have our guns. Maybe we, we shouldn't have, have left guns. that gun shed unlocked. <laughs> Pretty fucking. I think that was the planet I gave up on as well. Yeah, it really was. It was on the filler planets, and it's just like. It's... Oh god, this entire planet. Right, is a frozen wasteland. No one can survive apart from this tiny little crater where there's perfect nature and wildlife and everything. But don't worry, they're prisoners in this haven. It's amazing. So dumb. Much dumb. Good, good video game. Yep. Good video. Yep. Excellent writing. Very good. Right, so I think that's it for that. Do you want the reply? Yeah. The operator-only challenge is pretty cool. Would love to have more of that. I think we agreed on that. Question. Does this mean that the six conversation need to be from six different animals? Of conservation, sorry. It needs to be from six different animals. Or is it still the same, which can be multiple perfect from the same animal? I imagine uh, that you yeah. could still get multiple of the same animal. I think because you can't really control... You can, I there suppose. you can. Oh well. Next one. No big for not final like Steve and Reb hinted at for wall spawns. Well, we've got the tax work weekend. I hope we can get the chance of being attacked by Stalker and Wolf or some other combo at the same time. <laughs> yes, they team up. No, I like to see the Wolf and the Gushdog 3 fight each other. <laughs> I love they do that. Huh? 
Why would Why? they? Well, the Gustag three worked for the proper Grenier. Both is anti-proper Grenier. Well, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's anti-corpus. And no, anti he's anti-Grenier. Since when? They're Grenier prisoners in a Grenier prison. Yeah, but he was a model citizen. He, 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 so Until he, he broke prison. them out... Because found the, the warden actual warden. Selling, no, no, because the warden was selling people to the corpus for experimentation. Before that, he was clearly like, oh, yeah, what I did was stupid, and I, I understand my, my plight, so I'm going to be in this prison, and that's fine. And he's like, oh, that person's being mean to my fellow Grenier prisoners. I must stop him. So it doesn't make him anti Grenier. It makes him anti warden, which he does, and he hunts him down. He didn't get out and go, like, I'm going to take the queens on because I don't deserve to be in prison. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> Also, the better question is, why would the Grenier bother with the prison when they would just melt everyone down for clone bat um clone? Clone. Yeah, clone bits. Right. You can No they wouldn't. Uh, They'd feed them to the Queen. Well they could feed them to the Queen, but they also it's a thing where from one Grenier body you have enough material to clone like it was a debate about how many, I think in some of the diagrams it was four, other diagrams it was six, but you can make multiple Grenier. Now, you could suggest, that, like, oh, but they're bad, and so the, their clones will be bad, but I doubt that's probably true, and you can just program them better. At the same time, if they're useless for that, why bother keeping them around and feeding them when you could just kill them? I just, it just doesn't see... The, the, the idea fed. of a prison... Have you seen a gantry, I want to say gantry, in any of the Grenier ships? Galley, that's oh. what I meant gonna say i've seen i've seen many gantries many right, well, many gantries I'm, I'm not i'm not ship savvy okay <laughs> you just call me landlubber yep. but even so right, anyway, how many how many galleys have you seen laws how, how many laws how, how, how many you seen a galley? Huh? how do you know you haven't seen a galley how do you know do you know what... do i know what grenier what Eat. yeah food yeah what food <laughs> That's the point, isn't it? That is the literal I, point. Right. How do you not know <clears throat> that some of the like containers we haven't seen isn't just like food barrel and they just go out to grab from the food barrel and we just blow them up? If their food barrels explode, I, I'm more concerned about the food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still. Now, when right, was the last well, time you shot a barrel of fish and it exploded? I don't know. I don't have space fish in barrels, so I don't know. Like is it because explosive. you don't eat? I just mean, like the Grenier. Space fish. <laughs> no, I don't think you're supposed to space fish. You're right. In now, fact, you on. do have space... Oh, you could have space fish. I don't know if you've actually put fish in your uh, aquariums or not. Well, yeah. You ever shot them with a gun? Who knows? They make, <laughs> yeah, I have. Off. What? When? Um, I just went with... Yes, I have. <coughs> Didn't actually think it through. Right. Okay. I'll move on then. Uh, last one is the problem I have with the wolf is that he mainly doesn't drop anything with value. I have t like 24 encounters with 17 mod drops, seven common sledge parts, head handle, and the only rare one was his mask while I'm still needing the motor and blueprint. Yeah, do you know what you do? Go to the, uh, the trade chat where they're worth nothing now and you trade for them. I did. Yeah. I don't know how many I did. I probably did at least 50 last last night when it ran. And my will to live slowly died. I literally turned to trade chat and just went, want to buy Wolf Sledge Motor. I had someone turn to me and say like, oh, I want to, you know, want to trade 100 plat. And then a moment later, someone turned around and said that they wanted to trade the blueprint, which I had four of, for a motor and i'm like yeah I'll, yeah def that's that's a much better deal for me than 100 plat yeah yeah oz isn't even gonna try and fight i will I might try but i've got it at least once because i've got to get my tackle alerts not not the ribbon yeah screw the ribbon tackle alerts <laughs> Oh, screw the Riven. Do you know how many Rivens I've got to unlock right now? Freaking Rivens. I don't give a damn about Rivens. Uh, the good old times where Rivens were the greatest thing ever. And now no one cares. Oh, I never cared. I never cared. I should just die. <laughs> I got my Harpak Riven and that's all I cared about. Harpak? 
Yeah, it's a great gun, just for the harpoon. Don't care Especially about the other. For... I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm amazed. That's cool. Yes. Especially for Avara. So, Harpox. <laughs> really? yes. Yeah. Do you not know about this? No, I, I have seen videos of that. Yes, it does cover projectiles, so you can fly it. Does it have an infinite range? Does it can fly? It? I think it does. Because you can only shoot it so far normally. I need to <laughs> test this. <laughs> I know people did test it way back when. I did test it again. Yep. I, I still am amazed though. No, anyone who uses non standard guns, like I, I love the concept of the Harpack and, and there's just so many guns that are like, this is a really cool concept. And they just kind of half do it and just like there we go, it's done, mm. it works. It's like, but didn't you make this good? No, we cannot. Oh, that's why ribbons exist, to make them good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I gotta be honest, like I'm really in favor for DE to remove any of the Nightwave acts that aren't standard gunplay, which include fishing, conservation, K drive mm. races. I really am. Like Nah, I'm against that. I re oh, like no, I'm you know what's the worst thing they could do? What? We win five games of that sport that they made, but no one cares about. Uh, we, we have suggested this. Zanaro, <laughs> that's it. I, I don't think we win. You could put play. play five games. No, win. Make them hate life. Like, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they don't have, you know, do Arcwing Exterminate. Right. Just what? Just one. Just please do this content. Yeah. Please. Just, just, just do an Arcwing exterminate. Right. Like I, I, I'd much rather do anything Arcwing related than even fish a single fish. Wow. Or even capture a single doggo. Like honestly, I, I really cannot be fucked. I guess I'm the weird one because I get really zen in fishing. I, I've I've done it for like four hours once. So just I was it was really relaxing. So maybe I'm just the weird one here. It, it, like the problem is that the fishing can be like that and like super damn fast. Other times you're like, where's the merc rays? Where's the merc rays? Where's the merc rays? Anyone with the merc rays? Have you ever gone uh, fin Have you ever gone fishing in real life, Zeno? Oh, you mean that thing that I'm just wasting my life doing? <laughs> no. No. Otherwise, you don't get such amazing, high-quality content as 10 o'clock. Yeah, so you don't got time for a fish. You don't got time for that. No. Not in Birmingham. <clears throat> I, don't have, I don't have time to do fake fishing. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm with because I do occasionally do that, so that's probably why I like it so much in the video game. <laughs> I just, so, yeah. Do, do, so, I, I, try, I, try to, I try to think of a cool jacket. I mean, I suppose it's thinking like, so do you just get the go to the shop, buy your bait, go to the water, then just chuck it at the water? Like, like <laughs> that's the thing you get me the most. It's like, you know, bait goes on the end of the hook when casting. Like, no, 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 no. You get the bait, and then you just chuck it in the water, and you go, yeah. Gets, oh, just, By doing it right. And then you get the fishing rod, and then you just throw the fishing rod at the rod. <laughs> oh, yeah, get, get the hook. Get, Spear the fishing hook. with the actual rod. Yeah, just, put, just, just get that hook. Just, just tie it into your hands. Just, you know, just dig that in deep and just chuck the spear and then just pull it back. That'll work. That's how fishing works. Yep. I'm not saying they're identical. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're just, we're just having a laugh. Totally. Oh, of course, of course not. I imagine what was the actual, what was the actual topic again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the night waves. Sorry, one last one. You also buy the radioactive chemical that you can just leak into the water to make all the fish. <laughs> <spark up. laughs> that work? Yeah. What, do you? Can you not get plutonium at your local <laughs> house? <laughs> Oh, I guess mine's pretty special then. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that was it for comments before I start coughing. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's it, Zeno. Um, 
writing question. Oof. Right. Should non-gunplay open world Nightwave axe be removed? Not no. sure. See, okay, my, my thing on this is... No, I, 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 that's the question. I know that's the know. poll. I know that's the poll. I just want to answer it. Yeah, because you were saying about this earlier. I don't... I don't think they should all be removed because what it does is it encourages me to play different parts of the game that I wouldn't normally play. I do like that before Nightwave came out, I would literally log into the game and be like, there is about 20 different things I would like or could do and be okay doing. I don't know what to do in them. But Nightwave logs in and sometimes I'm like, hey, do a little bit of fishing, do a little bit of Arcwing, do a little bit of K-Drive. You know, it, it does guide me towards a few things to do that week. And I do enjoy that. I don't want it to be just down to shooting because that will just ignore all the other components of the game that I do like occasionally being reminded to exist and have reason to actually go and do for that time. So it gives me good variety. I, I Since Nightwave came out, I have played, well, while, while I was leveling Nightwave, I played a lot more Warframe and I enjoyed it a lot more as well because I was like, hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do that. Oh, yeah. It gave me that sense of progression. So, I mean, because I'm one of these people, I obviously played WoW as well, but uh, I like the I like the dailies and the grind. I'm one for the grind. I love mm-hmm. grind. But I like just I like to have a read for the grind. For instance, that's why I have the insane title, the proper one, because I, <laughs> I, I come to work towards, and um, I like that. I, I can work man. towards things. Mad with man. I am a man. I, I have the hard version of it when I still have the other achievement, which is uh, what is it? Agent of the Shendrala, because I went and got oh, the Shendrala. They thought that was too ridiculous, and when they redid Diamond, well, they took that out. I still have that, and you can't get it anymore. And I have it. I like going bam. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even give me a separate title. But wish it did. But there we go. I have that. That's how ridiculous. So many books. I had to finish just, so many bloody books for them. Oh. Just change the title to the insanest, and just have the regular ones. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, but at the same time, so I like that. I like having a goal, and that's what Nightwave used to give for me. It's like, hey, go do a bit of fishing. Now, nah, don't be wrong. There's some still some things. Some things I looked at and went no, <laughs> like find rare fish on earth but i mean maybe i might engage with that at some point but apart from that i, I enjoyed it so i don't mind having these non biting things in there there we go All right that's it <laughs> sorry i was just coughing and i had to mute. Sorry. right so we're done with topics and we move on to the maymays maymays Right, I, I've let everyone know. I've I decided to chop down the memes to only six memes from now on. It's just <laughs> we're only having six because I felt it was a bit too much with the twelve, whatever's going. And this way it's to to the point, just some just a few funny memes, just just, just a few spicy little memes. So it's not endless and then another one, another one, another one, another one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try limiting myself to six, see how that goes. I might shrink it even a bit more just to like three or four. But I think six will do. So if we just have a quick look through these, you know, and yep. Skylar. I'm just right. pulling them up. First one's up. Oh, and I see the first one I thought was brilliant after you started saying about the hard pack. I thought this is brilliant. So meta players. Ooh. When you play Warframe as a non-meta player and then see the weapon that you thought was thought, I think that's supposed to be was trash. You thought were trash? You thought was trash. Become a meta weapon. And I assume this is Ratatouille, I think. It's <laughs> how could it be pop? There we go. I thought, oh yeah. And then the one, but I love the first reply. They laughed at me when I put my tenth former on my synapse to play the build. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Suck it. Like, well done, good sir. Well done. Uh, All right, number two. Yep. I hope this helps finding your place on the food chain. Daily motivating quote. Only plebs touch the ground from XX Cool Burb XX Titanium. <laughs> So again, the first reply, cool burb, not a Zephyr main, I'm triggered. So there we go, yeah. But then Zephyr, Zephyr's not bird. As I'm sorry, titanium more burb than Zephyr. So, moving on. Yep. <laughs> Late to party, but still. I saw this was like, okay. Triangle, start a family. Square, find a prestigious job. X, be happy. Circle. Taking down a Riven price tracker to scam people for plat you won't spend while making everyone hate you more than they already did. Riven uh, Mafia, push your circle. Oh, God. That was actually a thing, or it still is even, and I just... What the, are we allowed to swear on this? I don't actually, yeah, didn't actually ask. Yeah. What the actual fuck? Yep. 
We are indeed English. Indeed. Uh, right, number four. I must admit, having less than yep. 10 makes it easy to keep track of where we are as well. So number four, my first Warframe meme is that we got good. When you min-max for those gains hard style, there's only one place to go. And I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> they found Jesus the former Christ. gym. <laughs> this is great. I love this. Yeah. Right, moving on to number five. Parry this. Lots of votes on these. this one. When I try to... This is apparently a, the Hawk Souls meme. When I try to level up my secondary weapon, but the enemies get too strong. Parry this! You <laughs> like, All right. But yeah, parry this. Da, 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 is apparently a uh, Dark Souls meme. There we go. And yeah. it's pretty badass for that Archipel. There's the Archipel. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving on to the sixth. Oh, yes. What is that thing? <laughs> Kuva Siphon spawns for another. Oh god, what is that? Twenty-four million four hundred thousand six hundred. So four hundred sixty-seven thousand five hundred twenty-six times. The Lotus. I never met this thing in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Lotus, we've just done ten bloody Kuva missions. This thing. Can you learn what it is yet? Your short-term amnesia is just too problematic here. Well, what I mean, she still can't count, so. <laughs> it's taking longer than I expected. It always takes longer than you expected, Lotus. <laughs> Without a doubt. That was the sixth one, I right? Just... Yep, I want... I just to add on to that. I want there to be a voice line that occasionally up that says, Oh, that went quicker than I expected. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. Yeah. I'd love that they subverted that. I wonder if there's like any lines that like Rebecca or any of the main staff they listen to constantly because it's said in the game they they just cringe every single time they hear I think after this point they've probably become jaded to it All right so here we have some lovely community shout outs our first lovely community shout out is this gorgeous uh, Nidus Deluxe by Hador it's nice. I want to see a coloured version. <laughs> it's very nice. So demanding. So demanding. Yeah, well, I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, there's no, there's not really any shading on this, so it's it is really nice. But because he's very a very complex design, it's it's you can't really like the arms yeah. and the like. For instance, I have to now look and see that his right arm is sort of on his hip. His left arm is kind of hanging. It it really is a design which is not good without color or shading. So yeah, yeah I well, I mean, I it's think nice, it's, but... it's coming. Right, I actually checked again before we did this. Right, so now we have a second one with some actual color shading. Yeah. So the second community shout out is this lovely Nidus Deluxe by Eon Height. Yep. See, and it makes all the difference because I does. can look at that and be like, nice, badass. Yeah. Very nice. Very pretty. Very day three. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Right. The third community shout out. I damn it, I keep forgetting that scrolls up. Right. The third community shout out is this Fearless Warrior by Debbie. They've d Debbie has done a number <clears throat> of <sighs> commissions for, I think it's like Steel 2 or something. And they're all to do with this Ember character, and the difference in work is absolutely stunning. Like sometimes there's a lot more detail, but Are you holding down your button. Yeah, I, I I'm fine with it, apart from one thing. That gather time prime is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a Gala Team Prime, uh, oh no, I've got, let me see, I was trying to see, I, I'm pretty sure is like, massive in comparison I, I, to Ember. It, I wouldn't it, be surprised. It, it's like the size of, it'd be like up to her head. Yeah, I'm I wouldn't be surprised sure. if the missioner said, this is the pose I want, and the only way to make it work, Gala Team. The fourth community shout out is this gorgeous... Uh, Lotus Warframe Button Project by Valentina Paz. So we've seen a number of these, the button projects. 
between Valentina. I think Valentina Paz is actually the one orchestrating it all. Yeah. Another one? That is insane. What the hell? Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. Was this the Lotus <laughs> one? Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. Do you know, it, it's weird because see, that, that's really interesting if they're seeing it like that. I... Can we actually get a look at the model of uh, Natar? Because that, that's the kind of thing I want to see, is that you, know, you can see it in that cutscene from a, a couple of angles, but like to see actually, it, it really, this, it's like, if this is how it is, it really hits it home how disjointed from the original form or how much has been removed. And you just don't get a chance to sort of uh, Properly climatize to it. Yeah. yeah, so it just kind of feels like, oh, there's a bit of there's some whole lines on the face or something. It's like, no, 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 no. You know, this, you get to see like these internal weird, like, flashy parts of the sentient and the the arms are over here and like they're not attached it's like and i i really hope we get time to see that so we can just you know because the longer you look at it the worse you feel i feel but because we only saw it for like a f like that yeah we didn't get the chance to get the full impact because the longer you stare like oh you know yeah, so, so all... one one question i have for you guys like because all three of us have played large copious amounts of do you ever just <laughs> like oh i'm just gonna watch the intro cinematics like one after another. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, a lot. I, I, think... I, I think I would quite like it if there was a way to just see the various cutscenes in Warframe. You know, just have like a catalog. And yeah, it could take from your operator as it is now. But yeah, I, I think I just really like that. I think that'd be great. There's a lot of video games that have like a theatre mode where they do have all the cutscenes where you can play back to back. Heck, there was even like PS1 games that allowed you to do that for like the longest time. I think Spyro is the first one I can think of that had it. Spyro 2, I believe it was. I think the problem is that that's like rendered videos and things. So that's True. easy to do. But in action, it, it, in, yeah. in engine is actually probably a lot more harder to work. I don't know how they do it. I'd, I'd love to see them have a punt at it, but <laughs> um, for everyone else's benefit, Loz has actually sent uh, Scarlet and I a picture of Ember <laughs> with a Galantine Prime, and literally the Galantine <laughs> Prime is bigger than the Ember in its entirety, and it's yeah. so much so it's clipping into the floor. Yep. Yeah, no, I don't think I still. I think I could have put a bit more effort to get it properly straight because obviously it's not yeah. quite. It was still a bit off, and yeah. So the thing is, I don't think it would take that much because thinking that I, I picture the the arm is straight. The yeah. handle is about head height, so just just put the handle up a bit. It wouldn't yeah. have been that much difference. But I'm just. I know I'm nitpicking, but it, it just. I looked at that picture and thought I felt that the Galaxy Prime didn't didn't instill in me the shock and awe that a Galaxy normally does. It was just like that's a that's a small thin knife they've got there. That's not a He-Man sword. This is a He-Man sword. <laughs> yeah. Right. Then where are we? The fifth. The butt. What's the shot? This is the fifth. <laughs> yeah, fifth community shout out. Yeah, uh, they buffed portion shot by Quiet Shy. So I know Scarlet seen this. I watched this. I laughed. It was glorious. This is. I'll give, this has got to be one of my top three favorite shy ship posts I think she's ever done. <laughs> yep. like, the only one that's better is, actually, I don't know if we should talk about that one. It's the one where uh, Raytalia sends her a bunch of mags and she just flips her shit at him. No idea. You'll link it to us later. That, that whole oh, thing <laughs> between them and the tracking stuff of each other was just, uh, not, and everyone, and just like, I'm just like, Oh, could, guys, can we can we get past? Yeah, but I suppose I I'd rather go back to that than the bloody tier lists that everyone seems to be making. Yeah, <laughs> let's get to the sixth, next one because it looks amazing. The sixth community shout out is this Wolf of Saturn Six. Awesome. I didn't write down the name. Damn it! What's the name, Loz? It's it's in. Read out the Twitter Jones. handle. That's in English. At square the square. Square the square. There you go. So I I saw this. I just like I, I kind of laughed. There's two variants of this. One as is displayed on the screen, and one with the sentient mask. So yep. And then our last community shout out is this harrow made by Viper Manet. I don't really know how to pronounce. 
Uh, this I actually I really like this. I thought this was adorable and sinister Aww, at the same time. That's amazing. And adorable and sinister. And Loz is in despair. Why does everything have to be a maid? But it's awesome. He could be a butler and look amazing. <laughs> no, bro, he wouldn't be sinister then. He looks sinister. I think he looks sinister. If you don't think butlers can be sinister, you... Uh, no, but he looks you really clearly sinister now. You've clearly not watched Black Butler if you do. Oh, you do I did. <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> Aww. Alright. So... That's... Also, I'm still annoyed with tricking Harrow. Why can't I hit people with the bloody chain? Yeah, yeah, we know that. Like, <laughs> seriously, you should be able to whack things with the thurible. Even if it I... knocks them back a little bit, it doesn't even have to do much damage, but just... Uh, Exalted what? thurible. Yeah, you better, I bet the Exalted one better give you thurible. Yeah, thur thurible, thurible. Like, thurible. just when you're doing that, like, why can't you stagger mobs when you if they're close to you? At least rather than nothing, you know, because... We should, yeah, we should yeah, take yeah. this to, to Tanacon and demonstrate... <laughs> Hi, Scott. This is a thurible. I've got this thurible. Watch. Watch as I flay my own flesh and hit someone in front of it. Look, it's pretty easy. You just spit it like this. I'm carving my back flesh up, but I'm hitting them with it. Can I do that, please? I'm going to go to the hospital now. <coughs> but... Maybe it could be a weapon when you don't have a melee weapon equipped, like Garuda's claws. Oh. I, I'd be, uh, I'd be have... totally down for that. We're having oh. good ideas here, and we're not allowed to have that. Show, apparently, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's really all we good. do. Everything we do is pure gold. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. So, coming to an end, we're gonna do the thing. Are you guys ready? Yes, I think you, you, you know what this is, right, Scarlet? It's, it's been like two weeks since the last I watched episode, so remind me real quick. We're doing what the time? yeah, we're doing the quote. Quote okay. from a movie, changed all the nouns and probably some of the verbs to be Warframe, and we have to guess the movie. Right. Just to highlight, I'm pretty sure, Loz, you have not seen this. Dang it. We're in trouble now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, yeah, so this is two people, right? Just going to highlight. So, you are a lotus damned traitor, sir. You dim little dung. I hired you out of pity, and this is how you repay me? Now when the solar system finds out your beloved executor, so yeah, executor helped a manic activate the jade light, who do you think they'll believe? Now you, you would be a nobody, whereas I, I am the executor of the Orokin Empire. But when does the... Is that two people talking? That's two people. So first off... If, if, I think we should set a rule, because we don't often do two people. But let's do a... Let's set some sort of rule so it's easier to tell when the two people are talking. Okay, like, so... I don't know how you want to do it. Maybe so first off, or... um, you are a Lotus Dam traitor, sir. That's the first person, and it's the only time they talk. Right. The rest of it is entirely the other person. Right. So let me so slowly... I'll go. Let's go again. So I'll do the first bit. So you're a Lotus Dam traitor, sir. You dim little dung! I hired you out of pity, and this is how you repay me? Now, when the solar system finds out that your beloved executor helped a manic activate the jade light, who do you think they'll believe? Now you, you would be a nobody. Whereas I, I'm an executor of the Orokin Empire. I, I think I might know this, but I can't place it. Right. So is it an old film or a new film? It's a new film. Um, so that means it was released after the year 2000. Yep. I, I feel to... I'm going to get you on that Manic, because that Manic noun feels weird. I don't think... I think Manic must have been a better choice than... Unless there's a reason you chose Manic. Um... No. Right, so moving on. Is it a superhero film? No. Nope. Is it a dystopian film? No. Nope. It's a sci-fi film. No. Nope. It's set in the real world. Yeah. Ish. In what modern setting? Yep. Yeah. What's the genre of the film? Action. Action film. Modern action film. Pretty newish. Can I have the release year? Twenty thirteen. 
I need to really newish then. Okay. Uh... Ooh, is it serious or is it a bit weird and funny, like you know, a Fast and the Furious kind of thing? Um, not as funny, not as retarded as the most recent Fast and the Furious, where they're jumping between skyscrapers. But yeah. it's it's pretty stupid. Is it like one of the transporter films? No. No, that 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 to me is really serious. The transport. Oh, there, okay. So is it sort of that level of it, or is it like the White House drama risk, drama, drama, drama? Getting close. Is it like uh, the, one of the like the the White House Down or whatever it was? It is White House Down. Is that what it is? Yeah. I couldn't remember the name of it. There's, I, there's I, I two of them. There's like White House. Like, I know there's else. Watership <laughs> Down and there's the White House. That's one of the Matt Rabbits. So I'm like, that was I just them. Yeah. It was like, it's it's the something down, and I can't think of what that something was for like 20 minutes. It's like, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. 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 It's the White House Down. Oh. It's where the vice president has um, betrayed the president and. Mm. He's given so the, the original line is you're a goddamn traitor, sir. You dim little shit. I hired you out of pity, and this is how you repay me. Now, when the country finds out that your beloved president helped me uh, helped a maniac open the nuclear football, who do you think they will believe? Now, you you would be a nobody, whereas I, uh, sorry, whereas I am the president of the United States. See, the problem is that it's like the wording is he's... But you could have done, you could have done a mad scientist opened the sentient tomb. What? Because Tilra Gore opening the thing, he got opening the thing, and you got somebody being crazy doing it, it's a term. But you've just gone for a one word thing of changing things to manic. But you could have gone for the whole thing about like Tilra Gore opening the sentient tomb thing, because that fits into the universe, and you could have fit that if you think you could have picked up on it better than with that, I I honestly didn't think you would have. Oh no, I don't think it would have fitted into the uh, help me pick it up better because I I haven't seen that film. I think yeah. I've seen like bits of that film, but I just feel it would make the sentence make more sense. Like you've made a manic open the jade light, and I'm like, poor manic, <laughs> what did he do? I don't know. It's like, was well, that a thing? The jade light? Is that, is that yeah? A thing in do you not know what the jade light is? No, what's the jade it's light? The... The jade light is what's used frequently as the weapon that the Orican used to disintegrate Mongulus. It's used in the what, Apostasy Prologue. Open this? Huh? No, it's not open. It's activate for a start. That's what I said. And why would a manic activate it? I don't fucking... Exactly. Why would you say the Lotus... Sorry, the, the Lotus Dam traitor when, you know, the executors didn't have... They weren't around when the Lotus was. <laughs> I fudge that. I don't care about the, you know, I care about the other thing. Yeah. I was trying to work out what would be a good nuclear foot. That is what I came up with. Engine two. Right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> good work, Joe. That's it for this week's quote. Yep. And now we can now move episode. on. So Scarlet, lovely having you. You've been absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. And I'm starting with us being ill. Yep, <laughs> and me coughing. Right. I think twice. Um, I just, I just got off a cold myself, so understandable. <laughs> where can? Because I'm pretty sure you do a, your own podcast with others. Where can yes, people I, find you? Really? I, I do. I actually create content, but it's not Warframe content. So if don't oh. get too excited. <laughs> no, he will. He will get excited when he finds out what the content is. So mine. I have go by the handle of at Scarlet Kingdom on pretty much all the social media. I do a lot of Warhammer at 40k and all that. <laughs> Lars, he's trying to talk. <laughs> uh, content. Uh, I have a podcast I do every two weeks on Saturday, on Saturday nights at half six UK time. Uh, it's called Warp Time Radio. If you are interested in looking at it, the VODs, do go on YouTube after about a few hours after it's been live streamed to Twitch. And if you want to talk to me or see why I am normally shit posting or bitching on Twitter for whatever reason I feel like that day, <laughs> that's pretty much it. 
Loz is looking now. He's completely... We lost him, guys. It's <laughs> end of the show. We're good. Ending, ending now. Loss. End slate. Loss well, no, I... Lewis, cool stuff I don't get to listen to. Like, yeah, no, that's all. Do you do, do, you do one a month or one a week or what is uh, it? One every fortnight. Every one two fortnight. weeks. That's cool. No, that's great. I, yeah, no, I... It's annoying when you do the only Warframe podcast and if you want to listen to any of the podcasts. Oh, oh, that's where you're wrong. <laughs>